Hey, we're the last four boys at the foster home. Also, <laughs> no, also no. known as More Than Culture. Do you have a business or not? Come to the More Than Culture program. And you can place your ad here, right on our show. You can have companies such as... Trim Hedges. Mm, we Pressure, advertise it. Pressure Wash Drywalls. We'll advertise it. If you got a soccer game coming soon. We'll advertise it. Hey, even if you cut grass or hell. <laughs> It this ain't is no a budget out of to there. get you to do a commercial. Mm. Solicitation genius. commercial. You should have been said. <laughs> That's a shirt. That's a shirt. <laughs> Jones. Yeah, we can't be free until they stop selling us. They make so much money and profit off of our culture. And until we take ownership of ourselves and ownership of that intellectual property, we're never going to be free because we're too valuable to somebody else. And that's all it's about. Mm. Go on to Patreon if you didn't hear it. You, you did. know what I'm saying? You know what I'm Remo saying? didn't hear it either. He got to pay for it. Remo didn't that's hear because that's what happened when you late. His knees was in the way of his ears, Come man. On, What's bro. going on, bro? Bro, I'm just busting out of life. You feel me? I just got there. I'm up out of here. You doing too much. You know what I'm bro, saying? I'm up out of here, my dog. That's a lot of leg, bro. Hey, bro, it's two knees. Ain't nothing. Just Put knees. Leg, bro. It's two knees, two upper thighs, two upper calves. Well, two lower thighs, upper thighs, two knees, upper calves. some new pants. This might be the last time I wear them. Yeah. Thank God. No, man, I, you know, I was trying to get dang dash out. They make noises. <laughs> they make noise. Be right here, they, and they got the zip on the side. You feel oh, me? God. There's a zipper. Yeah, hey, sir. We on again. on again. I hope you listening closely. You listening we doing our own thing, our own but thing. we doing this for the culture. For the culture. Check out the top. Check out the top. Don't be the subject. Don't be the subject. We keep it pop. Hey, we keep it pop. You can be up next. You can be up next. We are. More than culture, more than culture, more than culture, more than culture, more than culture. We are more than culture, more than culture. Kick it off, come on. More than culture is the brand. This is the More Than Culture show. Come on, the secret genius. Remo needs. Tyler Chronicles. Ronnie Jordan will be flying in, but we got a super special guest today, man. First and foremost, I want to apologize because I need to let the world know that he put me on. Mm. You know what I'm saying? First and foremost, before I even get into the whole entire introduction. Oh, yeah, now man. it's time for your apology, Remo, for being late. Hey, man, my knees do apologize. First and foremost, <laughs> as a black man, king that you are, sir. <laughs> Boom. The, <laughs> the reason we have trap music mm. uh, connected in every single way, in every point of industry, uh, whether it be music, um, the comedy game, which we are all thankful for. We'll get in, into all of that. Um, the owner CEO of Rubicon E&T, the uh, CEO of Grand Hustle, ladies and gentlemen, Clay Evans, show some love, fucking love. The VP. I'm a, I'm a worker. No, nah, get the hell out of here. You know I mean? Let's I'm start working. there then. That's one of my jobs. Let's let's start there then. How how Grand Hustle come about then? Uh, Grand Hustle came about uh, Jason Jeter and uh, the Clifford Harris Ti. You know. The, you we know, can't hear the microphone. Uh, Jason Jeter, Ti, and Clifford Harris. Yeah, that's him, Ti. You mm-hmm. know y'all y'all made me indulge a little too early. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go all the way back. If if you don't mind. Oh, absolutely. You came in the game with Bobby Brown, brother. Well, that was that was my first taste of it. See, most people don't know about the Bobby you know Brown. I mean? You know, that's when I thought I was gonna be a rapper. No shit. Oh man. man. What was your yeah. What was your name? Don't worry about it. Duh! That's a cold vein. Vain. Vain. Oh, I'm about to say that's a cold ass rap name. Don't worry about <laughs> don't that. Don't worry. <laughs> about <laughs> MC, <laughs> don't worry about it. Vain was my name. Yeah. Indigo Vain. and Vain. I had a few names. Indigo. Indigo. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah He's on your Jimmy Hendrix shit. Yeah, nobody Indigo's knew woke. about it. First woke. <laughs> he said nobody knew about it. Just me. Yeah. First woke nigga. <laughs> yeah, you know. But I, uh, my title really, me and my partner, I was in Europe. Mm-hmm. I was actually in uh, in London, England, and uh, I came to the military. I was in the Air Force. Oh no shit. So, yeah, okay. I came to military base and I met. 
met a brother, his name was Daryl Washington, you know what I mean? And uh, most, most of us military men, when we get in a base, you know, we're around, you know, there's a few Caucasians, so we kind of <laughs> gravitate to the Caucasian women. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> I, met, I met my partner, Daryl, and he informed me that my mother didn't send me overseas Give no white woman. <laughs> <laughs> First and foremost, yeah, yeah. Know why you over here? So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you know, he he uh, showed me another part of Europe. You know, he took me to London, England. Oh, okay. And, uh, I went to uh, Brixton, and I, I realized, you know, there's black British people. Mm -hmm. You know, which I didn't, I didn't know. I'd never been over there. You right. know, I always seen the TV and um, the Queen. You know, watching the Queen and watching uh, uh, what was his name, uh, Benny, uh, Benny, Hill. Benny Hill, yeah. watching Benny Hill. So you yeah. know, that was my mind. Right, all I white. You know, it was a whole culture over there. Yeah, bro. You know, they over there. And uh, he put me down, uh, and my love of music, you know, I guess my love of entertainment came once I got to Europe. No and, shit. Wow. Yeah. So what? What was the? What was the? I guess entertainment scene back then. What was they heavy on? Uh, Hip hop, hip hop was heavy, and we used to go to this club over there uh, called the Fridge, which the was fridge. owned by uh, Jazzy B from the group Soul to Soul. Mm. Soul to Soul, he had a, he had a club in. Like, yeah, he's he's actually a DJ. Oh, okay, you know what I mean. And uh, we we got the opportunity, you know, I, you know, we as young people don't know what our gifts are, mm -hmm. and I learned I had a gift to gab, so you know my gift. Uh, took us to many places in Europe, places that normally you probably couldn't get in. Right. But you know, I was a broke VIP. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so many broke VIPs hey, bro, in Atlanta. What? Bro. That's what Atlanta's built off of. What? The broke VIP. Yeah, broke VIP. I was broke VIP. But 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 also, you know, don't compare me to them niggas. Yeah. You know, I was, you know, That's I was, fair. That's respectfully. You know, I was a I was a broke trendsetter. Okay. You know? <laughs> making it happen. I was broke making rich. it happen. Mm -hmm. I I was moving. I was moving like I was I was already famous. Mm. You know what I mean? You know that that's that theory. Uh, you claim it and own it. Mm -hmm. as right. if, you know, yeah. and I act as if. Yeah. You know, and me being over in Europe, most of the American acts that would come to the come to the club. We got an opportunity to meet them, you mm -hmm. know, because you know we might have had some things they needed. Mm -hmm. For sure, you, you know what I mean. Yeah, so, had you know, to. Yeah, we had a few things they needed. Yeah. You know, we had liquor, we had cigarettes and toiletries, left hand <laughs> cigarettes, <laughs> toiletries. Yeah. Yo, go see my nigga Clay for some toiletries. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you need some deodorant. Yeah, okay. so, <laughs> two, three ply. But on 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 our own base, we we would create uh, what they call all, all nighters. Mm -hmm. uh, myself, Daryl. Uh, my cousin DJ Egan, he's a pretty famous DJ out there in Tampa right now. Okay. But uh, we would do our own parties, and we would take that same vibe with us to Europe. You know, we would have the clothes that people sent us from the states that they wasn't getting. Mm -hmm. You know, fresh you know, as hell. Over which there. we adapt some of their style, but of course we, you know, we had our own little movement going, and uh, you know, we would we would we would become in turn. You know, once again, I was a dancer, so. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, I danced. I danced. Come on, man. You know, I don't know if you know how Remo get down. I, know, I came from the era with gangster dance. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, man. yeah. I'm a gangster. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I wasn't no ballet dancer, or no modern. Dancer. I wasn't no ballet dancer. <laughs> <violent. laughs> <laughs> I wasn't no modern dancer or no shit like that. I wasn't no modern dancer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wasn't doing dancer. no jazz. I wasn't doing no jazz. <laughs> yeah, but I, I was pretty decent. I thought I was pretty decent. Okay. So, you know what I mean? I in turn met a lot of the young people on the scene. Uh, one of the people I met uh, was Moni Love. Mm -hmm. You know, was she in the middle? Yeah, Moni was Hilarious. just getting in the middle. Mm -hmm. She wasn't in my middle, but she was. In the <laughs> you know, all respect, she's a mother and a woman. So with all respect, my, she was respect. a very talented artist. Yeah, I was making she a pun was, on the song, no, man. No I wasn't disrespecting. No, no pun. <laughs> no pun. <laughs> Damn, Clay, you going at my neck? Jesus Christ! I was on time. He's a gangster dancer. <laughs> <laughs> I was the one on time. Nigga been He's killing me since I got here. Neck. No, but <laughs> she was a part of. Uh, she was just, I guess, part of Native Tongue. So mm, all the, yeah. all of them would come over there. Baby Africa. Mm. Uh, Is she from? Fife. She from London? Yeah, she from yeah, London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby Africa, Fife, you know. Fife. Uh, all them guys would come over. No shit. You know, and us being in the military, you know, we American dudes, so they all gravitate to us, and right. you know, 
once again, that's when I thought I was famous. You know, I made myself famous. So, so, so you was in the dance era and you was a hip hop artist. Like, were you like uh, 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 Will Smith? No, no, no. Like we, dancing rap. I was more Big ba- Big Daddy Kane. I'm about to say the okay. Big Daddy Kane school. I was just trying to throw him See, off. Because, like, because Big, actually, what's so funny is <laughs> Big Daddy Big Daddy Kane had a had a record over in Europe that probably didn't break in the states yet. Okay. And you know it, it was a fast beat record. I forget the record, but it was a fast beat record, mm. and the Europeans really love that record. How shit? Yeah, yeah. It was a hard record. Yeah. yeah. But me personally, you know. Um, once again, I said I thought I was famous, so I was plagiarizing this rapper. Um, <laughs> People thought you was Big Daddy Kane. No, 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 not, rapper. no, no, not Big another Daddy, <laughs> but, but another nigga, Granddaddy IU. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, I know him too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> he said I was plagiarizing yeah, this yeah, other rapper. Yeah, Keep it real. Yeah. You know, I, was, I was rapping something new. They don't know his shit out Yeah, I was rapping something new. something new. Yeah. Yeah, well, I changed the words to my song. Hold on, hold on. But you, like, when you mean you was you was rapping it, like you was doing shows? Yeah, I was doing shows. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. bro. The hustle yeah. is real in this. Yeah, Clay, Clay and Jay from the USA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fucking yeah. Millie Vanilli. Yeah. Is yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. No, we wouldn't, let, no, we wouldn't lip syncing. We wouldn't lip syncing. From the <laughs> USA. The album hadn't came out over there yet. So. <laughs> Boy, ah. so it was really my album. Really me, really I'd have been everybody. Yeah. Nigga, fuck you talking Boy. about? I'd have been Kwame. That shit come out. They be like, man, that's damn, Clay I heard Jay from the USA. USA. <laughs> they just stole, <laughs> stole my nigga shit. Yes, I was the man, man. Them nigga stole my shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was one of the raps I learned. Yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah. Gotta be first to market. <laughs> Gotta be first to market. Oh, no, we God. uh, we in turn we met a lady uh. Her name was Lady Carol, and uh, she had a she had a club called uh, Moonlighting, mm-hmm. and she was what you called a passer. And I guess you know, back in the day, uh, actresses and black actors and actresses to get roles, they had to pass for white. Mm-hmm. Right. A passer. You know I mean? Passer. My so, grandmother was a passer. You know, she was a passer, mm-hmm. but she had a club there. You know, you know, she used to let us come to the club. Mm. And we meet, you know, uh, I met Carl McIntosh from Loose Ends, uh, uh, Alexander O'Neill, oh, uh, early Lennox Lewis, before mm. the Olympics. So we was like locally famous. People really didn't know we was going back. You know, I was going back to stand on the gate. And I was in the military, so you know what I Broke mean? Broke VIP, bro. You yeah. said it, bro. Yeah, yeah. You said to stand but, on the gate. <laughs> yeah, but on the weekend? Oh, shit. Come you on. Nigga, come right on. Here, what? Chaos on. One, uh, um, uh, Bud of Law, Michelle A. Everybody, anybody famous that came over there, we was we was kicking it. And they thought we was really somebody. <laughs> but y'all was, though. That's no, that's was, that's, though. Yeah. that's really what it takes to be somebody, really. All it takes oh, yeah. right now is to have That's why, I, like it. you said, when I came to Atlanta, I fell right into the fakers. I I knew what to do. Knew how to get there. Not about fake you, fake niggas. So, how, so did you want to? You wanted to stay in London, or you just had to go? Oh yeah, they, I had to leave. Yeah, yeah. You know, I tried to stay, but they said get up out of here. Yeah, yeah. You know, they, they, you know what I mean? That car, they, you know, they, you ain't in the military. And then I missed my mother, so I, you know, I had to come back yeah. to the United States. You know, I actually came. Uh, I came. Uh, I ended up in Cocoa Beach, Florida. Then I left there, and I came. To Atlanta, mm. you know. What year was that? Ninety-two. Uh, Ooh, that's crazy. I, I thought you was from Atlanta. Dream team. No, I, I, Your connection but, in Atlanta is so like Clay is a got to work quick. To yeah, we're well, fed and bred. I'm a hustler. Mm-hmm. You, mm-hmm. you know, I I came here and you know we sh- started doing parties. You know, well before a lot of the big names and parties, we was doing parties. Yeah. Right. You know, uh, Clay and Jay sipping on Sunday. No, me and my partner, <laughs> me and Back actually me and my partner uh, BJ, which is Modern Clay Craftsman. You know, if you look up Modern Craftsman, you wouldn't know that. You know, he a gangster from Chicago. No he shit. build immaculate and beautiful homes now. Modern uh, Craftsman from you know, Chicago. He's actually an architect. You know, Dope. That's Stanford grad, but. You but know, y'all was doing know. parties. Yeah, we was doing. Parties. Hey, black people are so fucking magical, dog. Let me let me let me go back. Are you from Chicago? If you don't mind. No, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland, Ohio. All right. Because it's a it's a Dr. Clay Evans. 
No, he's from that, Chicago. Yeah, he's a, he's a minister. Minister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah okay. I, I claim him too. <laughs> I think it was everybody. Granddaddy, what you talking about? What you talking about, my granddaddy? <laughs> <laughs> Civil rights leader. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, no. coming up in Cleveland. I just I just left Cleveland literally this yeah. weekend. Man. Both sold our souls, boy. Yeah, talk my shit. Can't even say it. Both sold our souls. Yeah, I saw you. I saw you. I ain't even hit you up. Put in a word. That boy ain't hit you up. I'm sorry. That's good. You ain't have to. Yeah, but I will. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I ain't I, never I, been invited to your little shows. Not your little shows. Not your little shows. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. talking about? You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? That's oh, your ass. Boy. Hey, you know what's your crazy? Though? I'm about to I'm be calling this nigga every day. You know right. how I get. Right, right, right. Okay. And how I with Nard. <laughs> that nigga didn't call me, so yeah. Yeah, this way. Don't no, change but, the number. But I came here and... Uh, <laughs> Don't change the number. I came here and I linked up with uh, my partner, BJ. You know, I'm kind of fast forward. But... uh. I, once again, like I said, I was rapping. And I linked up actually with uh, Dinko D from Leeds of New School, mm -hmm. and me and Dink started rapping around Atlanta. And, you know, to be be funny with it, one of the dopest rappers when I was trying to be a rapper was uh, Zoo Man. You know, Zoo I don't know, you know Corey Corey Miller. He raps, but, but Zoo was one of the dopest. Zoo was signed. Yeah, Zoo was signed. He actually wrote rhymes for some some other cats, you know. Mm. You know, but I would I would go to open mics or go to different shit and Zoo, you know, of course Zoo funny, so he would win all the time. Yeah. You know, Y'all check called. out Zoo Man episode, man. Yeah, that's what's up, bro. Yeah, but fast forward, like I said, I I I got an opportunity to link in with Bobby. I met Bobby a couple times. You know, rest his soul, my homeboy Irv Ski, he was one of the first rappers out of Detroit too. He actually wrote uh, raps for a Lil Zane. Okay. You know, Money Stretched Like a Rubber Band. You know, that was my partner, Irv. But Irv was knee deep in the street. So, you know what I mean? That's why when I see a lot of these young dudes, I be really want to let them know, you know, you can't play both sides and really survive in this game. You know, Irv was a super talented rapper, but, you know, streets ate him up. He ended up doing a lot of time. But, uh, you know, like I said, we uh, I stopped my, my rap dream when I realized, you know, I met a few rappers, and all them niggas was broke. And I was like, mm -hmm. they trying I was to like, broke line. I was like, that was before they was getting these big deals and everything, and right. you know, but most of the rappers I was meeting, I was like, damn, you rap? Up. That ain't what I want to do. Right. You know, I, you know what I mean? So, fat, you know, make make a long story short, I I went and done what I knew how to do. I went and got a job. <laughs> you know, so most these cats, they don't believe in, you know, uh, working, mm -hmm. you know, but I worked a job, but I was doing it so well, you know, at nighttime, I was, you know, I was Batman, you know, but in daytime, I had to get my ass up and go. Work. Matter of fact, Talk right in. around the corner is uh, Zep Manufacturing, Seaboard Industrial. Yeah, I was packing boxes and shit. Yeah. Like right across the street. Yeah, right across the street. Yeah. Yo, yeah. the crazy shit is. I only seen my pops three times in my life. Mm -hmm. And that nigga used to work over there. It's like a mill. Yeah, I probably used to work with Yo, him. Yo, that's crazy. This nigga know my dad more than me. Yeah, yeah. Easy. I probably you used to work hey, with your Clay, dad. You, I mean, God, that, yeah. know, that leather jacket you, he gave you that time, that was clay shit. That might have been yeah, clay shit. Because it was from London. It was a London farm. <laughs> that was mine, yeah. I, I had lived to him. <laughs> I gave it to him. <laughs> so my son, a growing boy. Yeah. He eight years old. What do you mean? Like an extra large was doing? He was growing to that? No, nah, but uh, in, in daytime, you know, I was working that job, but uh, once again, I started, I was doing work at uh, Patchwork mm. uh, early on, you know. Big Bob Whitfield. And, Shout out to Bob. Matter of fact, I, it's just funny how this, I jumbled along. But me and Chuck was, and his cousin were throwing parties together. Mm. And the party, our company was called uh, Black Lava. Me, Chuck, and my partner, Dedrick. This is uh, before like AG? Yeah. Alex Actually, AG the... was working at the club. What? Know? Parking lot? Parking lot? Nah, I ain't going to put him out there in the parking lot. He wasn't in the parking lot then. He, was, oh. he had moved up. He was gotcha. doing some other things. AG got no, a he's a true story, hustler. Though. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Crazy story. True hustler. Yeah. Uh, he needed 30 for 30. He was doing, I Facts. believe, it, I think it was ESCO, ESCO's. Okay. But we did a party over there. You know, AG ended up taking this party from that. That's Eastside, ain't it? Yeah, no, you, no, it was, no, that's the old assholes. The oh. original Abe, Abe, Abe. Uh, Watson. Abe Watson. That ain't his name, but Abe. <laughs> I forgot how to say his last name. <laughs> I 
I can't say. Yo, this nigga know everybody, yeah. everybody. Hey, bro, he know but, my dad. Hey, he hey, knows my dad. Yeah, I know your dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to tell you about him when we finish. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he used to sell whiskey to my father. Yeah. Oh, my God. No, but uh, we was doing a, a party. Whiskey Actually, we did the FUBU party. We did a big FUBU party. After that, uh, you know, like I said, I started working patchwork with Bob. And uh, I, met a, I met an intern there. And that was uh, Jason Jeter. Mm. Oh, you know, Jason was working. He's working a job uh, during the day. No, at night and working at Patchwork during the day. So mm. his story is something else too. But myself and BJ, BJ, we we was on the label side of everything. Uh, people don't know Patchwork, Patchwork was a, a label? was a label. Yeah. Before it was a studio. Yeah, the, our artist was uh, Mean Green, which he just passed not too long ago. Uh, he was really one of the first to break into that weed smoking. You know, he had an album called Smoking Section. Mean and it Green. was uh, Raz Cass. Okay. I know uh, Raz Cass. Uh, uh, Voodoo. Voodoo uh, uh, you know, they was a hemisphere clique. But they was all out of Cali. Mm -hmm. And uh, Bob being from, uh, Bob and Curtis, they're from California. You know what I mean? Uh, actually from, from Carson. You know, Pat, that's where the patch come from, patchwork. But uh, mm. so we started doing shit at the label. But me, I, I knew Rico Wave from Bobby Brown's old studio, Boss Town, Shout which is now owned by Big Boy. Yeah. Right. But it was Triple B Records then. But I knew Rico from there. You know, they was going through some things over there. So I remember Rico. And I was like, Rico, come over to Patchwork. Mm. You know, and, 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 and I'm jumbling, but it takes this story funny because actually a, a legend in the city, her name's Dee Dee Hibbler. Me and her brother was stationed in in London. Europe together. Oh wow! You know what I mean? So all this tied back in. I come to Atlanta. Thanks. I got to meet meet people in the industry that was connected in the industry, but it was the ground ground and grass root of what we got going on now. All right. You know what I mean? You know, you know. I got glory stories and that you probably wouldn't even believe, but hey, we here. No, man. that's why we you here, man. You know what I mean? It's, it's crazy. You, I, I looked you up and. This, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying this is the only podcast, but we trying to like really big you up, bro. Yeah. Because like I couldn't find you. you. I was like, Clay Evans from Grand Hustle, bro. Everybody needs to add an. Oh no, I did a podcast. I did with Patchwork. Okay. I did. They, you know what I mean? I just this because my story is life. Mm. It'd be hard for me to really talk about it not because that. I've watched a lot of people go from zero to a, a thousand to a million. You know. All right. You know, I, I danced against the puffies. I danced, you know what I mean? I hold see on. things. So yeah, wait, 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 wait. Don't just skip wait, over wait. puffy wait. battle. Wait. Oh, no, we all in, we, we all came up in this Because I battled thing. against Chris Brown. <clears throat> well, I have, too. Did he, did he take one of your moves? No. Let me, <laughs> y'all laughing at me, though. No, no we're laughing no. at him. If y'all look, it, if look, look it up. I'm serious. From a Mario, no, we're laughing at Remo. Remo Mario, talking about Chris, Chris Brown. Brown. Uh, what's, what's the kid name? You know, he, he was scared of me, though. Woody. You know, <laughs> see, I haven't met Woody. Yeah, yeah, you scared of me. You know what I'm saying? No, I haven't met Woody. You, I had met saw Woody the on, on he a. Was like, nah. No, I have I have met Woody on a a, a, a Chris Brown tour. Mm. You know, Woody used to dance for Chris Brown. What it is? Actually, he danced for some of everybody. Right. But right. I seen Woody and I told him, I said, "Hey man, you remind me of Bobby Brown." Mm. Fast forward. BT. Come Woody on. Woody played Bobby Brown. Bobby you put everybody on. No, I, I, I was trying to tell no don't tell that's what that I was trying to tell niggas earlier. That's what I was trying to tell niggas before we got on tape. Remember I was talking about how you put me on? No, but don't tell them lies, because I ain't one of them niggas to tell you <laughs> I put niggas on and I ain't put niggas on. But, but you, I do you, you, say, you might have put the spark in. That's but I a spark, do say yeah. I know I was a part of Sparks with a lot of niggas that's that's Yeah, moving that's a spark. The spark is the beginning. The spark is a part of it. I created, you know. The spark start to end. Yeah. Anybody know? If you go into the history of Hustle and Flow, was an open mic I did here. Mm. Myself, uh, Funky, uh, uh, Be Rich, early on, uh, 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 kind of big deal, Tracy, uh, DJ MLK. We did a, a open mic. Uh, Tip asked me, he was like, yo, my uncle opened up this club, uh, club called Club Crucial. So I went over to Crucial and I created an open mic there. And I picked the worst night. It was a Monday night, mm. and uh, from Gucci to Plies to to me to you name them, they hit my stage. 
Mm. You know what I mean? Or, or we took some on the road all over the world. You know, we took cash. You bring Granddaddy the IU in there, give him some money. No, nah, you know, I ain't give him something new. <laughs> you know what I mean? Give him something new. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, give him something new. You, you know? got to circle back, man. <laughs> so that was a fan. You know, like Granddaddy, Granddaddy IU and, and the Jizza, who back then, the Jizza, his name was the Genius. Yeah. That album was big in Europe. Mm. But I didn't realize who he was until, you know, I came to the States or whatever. Later in life, you see Wu-Tang Clan. But then I realized when I was younger, that was a, when I was... That's what that I was, was rapping. A, that was an album over there was the the, uh, the Genius is Slamming. Mm. You know, that was a... The Genius is Slamming. Yeah, the Damn. Genius. Yeah, the Genius. That's part of that Wu-Tang story. Ronnie Jordan Ronnie in the building. In the building. What's up, man? Yo, how what's up? What's up? Big, big Valor Energy. Glad hey, man. Uh, Glad we got an OG have. in the building. What's up? <laughs> Oh, let me got down. This nigga here. <laughs> glad to have you. This nigga. I'm glad to have you. Come on. I, 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 you know I'm That nigga, that nigga want to have you from the back. Clay gave me my... Uh, <laughs> what's going on? You know I've I'm never old. seen this before. Right. No, no, no. Clay gave me my first headlining gig at the start on, man. Ooh. Put us all on. Yeah, Grand he left me. Presents. He left me, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Ryan got on TV, took off on you? What? Did he? <laughs> yeah, no way. Yeah, no way. Boy, the boy was booked up all over the place. That's it. Damn, Ronnie, <laughs> he didn't hit all of us. It's just your turn right now. I know, of yeah, course. Yeah. I, I get this on the weekly. This is my weekly no, call. No, me and Ronnie, we went down to... Uh, you talking to Mike for us, Clay? Uh, me and Ronnie, we went down to uh, Birmingham, Alabama, mm-hmm. uh, the Stardome. My man, Bruce. Shout you know, Bruce, he, he, Bruce he, Ayers. He, Bruce Ayers, really one of my... My mentors in this game that I watch, you know, on the comic side, wow. a comedian side, because I didn't know nothing about comedy. Mm-hmm. You know, I met a uh, little Duval used to be around us, and you know, I really didn't like the nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm keeping one hundred with you. I like it. he he would come around with his little pot, street partners, you know. And I was really one of them. No nigga, I'm a real gangster. I don't fuck. Right. You know what I mean? But to make a long story short, I ain't like him. <laughs> <laughs> but then I, but I learned to like him, you know what I mean. Uh, and Tip went to prison, and Duval came to me and he said to me, he said, "Look, I ain't never going to jail." He said, "He said, <laughs> what type of shit?" So hell of a pitch. Yo, that, that that's a the good pitch. That's, that's, like yeah. that's a hell so, of a pitch. That's a hell of a pitch. So real, so real, low key hate nigga shit. He said, <laughs> Ain't low key. 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 He said, you know, that ain't me. I ain't going to jail. He said, invest some of your time in me. And I said, okay. He could just say, invest some of your time in me. I get it. Yeah. He could have, yeah. He had no time. He had to make an impact. He had to get Clay. He knew Clay ain't like him. Yeah. He had a little hard on his You got to have impact. You got to have impact first. No, but but I had. You know, I told him, okay, cool, but I really w- wasn't feeling the situation. I ain't, I don't know what the fuck you do. You know what I mean? But make a long story short, I was doing, once again, hustle and flow. Mm. And so Duval, in Duval rare form, came to me and he said, hey, Clay, you know, there's a dude promoting uh, that told me he want me to come film your night, film on your night and promote it like it's my night, and he's going to start a comedy night at Crucial. So I was like, what? I said, oh, that's some real shit. So I told Duval, I said, I tell you what, fuck him. You know, can I say that? I can say yeah, fuck yeah, him. Yeah, so I said, fuck him. Please, please, please say So that. I said, yeah. fuck him. I said, whatever he's going to pay you, I'm going to pay you. And we're going to we gonna figure something out. Mm. We're going to make something. Duval said, you ain't got to pay me. I'm just going to do it. He said, what you going to do? So I, I made these flyers and these T-shirts. And I said, Called it Trippin' on Tuesday. Legendary. And night. what's so funny is we didn't even have a venue. We didn't know what we were going to do. I just know I was pissed off. I said, oh, this nigga going to try to play me? We're going to come up with Trippin' on Tuesday. <laughs> and with our, the way uh, the stars lined up, it was during the weekend uh, Dirty Awards. Dirty Awards was coming that weekend. You know, us being, you know, Grand Hustle, we're going to Dirty Awards. So me and Duval wore our, our, our Trippin' on Tuesday T-shirts. and, oh, to the and Dirty Award. Yeah, we wore it to the Dirty Award. And <laughs> in rare form, we, you know, we sitting up front or whatever. You know, we ain't got no rapper. Our rapper in jail. So, you know what I mean? <laughs> but Our rapper. Our rapper in jail. jail. Yeah, but we looking, we still looking good. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, uh, Ludacris, Ludacris was giving an award. 
And I saw Chris and I said, uh, tripping on Tuesday, tripping on Tuesday. Yeah. And Chris being the real nigga he is, he said, I don't know what it is, but we tripping on Tuesday. Hey, yeah, hey, Mike. hey man. Still, man, come on. I said, my man and gave us a commercial. Right. Come on, oh, God. The we found the venue, you know what I mean, at Uptown. We went to Uptown. And oh, we, shit, you haven't doing that. You ain't had no venue. No, we ain't had no venue. That's, the, that's where the hustle come in awesome. at, man. Uh, I, need, I, we, just, I, I, knew, I just wanted to back that up. I just knew we was, gonna, we was going to do something. And the nigga was trying to get Duval his night. That's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. Cool I, said, I got something for you, you lame. So, <laughs> yeah. but you know, but I knew, I knew a few people. So a few yeah. people, they're gonna come, they're gonna come, come out and fuck with a nigga. Mm-hmm. So we did tripping on Tuesday. I think our first week we had probably about twenty five people in there. Mm-hmm. That's really the, fucking good. The sec- week, second week. weekend we had about seventy five people. Oh, you tripping? Yes, the third weekend, word of mouth. We were telling people they can't, can't even get, get in. in. Oh, it was Once that you do that, it's over. a legendary night, man. But the comedians was in the back scared as shit to go up. <laughs> nigga, when I tell you, because I used to walk in there like, what's up, Clay? He's like, nigga, you going to stay right there. Mm-hmm. Just <laughs> stay right there. Two of these niggas going to die. <laughs> yeah, they, oh, no, we knew they going to die. You know, du- Duval always tell me, always, Clay, you don't know. You don't know. These are comedians. You don't know. You don't know. <laughs> you, let me do this. You don't know. Yeah, you know yeah. I would tell him, everybody good. Oh, he could go up. They, he said, Clay, you don't know. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, I'm gonna put them up. Yeah, put them up and they kill them in there. You know what I'm saying? I know that stage been ruined careers. Yeah, like real careers been ruined. Shut you down on, on that stage. You know, and, and, and blesses of Ronnie, uh, 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 Lavar, you Carlos, know, Carlos. You know, Carlos. Carlos. Like I said, I, I I've always you know how you say, oh I know they're gonna be big, but you know Carlos is one of the ones. I'm just keep 100. I always knew. Like this you see nigga, him one time, you know. This nigga on. the coldest, the coldest of the coldest. You see him one time, you know. Yeah, but on. I did once again. I ain't, I ain't know, you know. I just knew from the. I, I knew these cats was cold. These, you know, we actually went on a little tour. You know, once again, didn't know what the fuck we were doing. We just went. You know, I, I'm a firm believer in um, uh, create your own. You know, and, and you know, it's back to that theory. You can eat, always eat. You know, and that's I went retorted back to what I knew in the uh, in the rap game. You know, early in Tips, early on in Tips' career, you know, when they wasn't really booking him. You know, he was doing a few shows. Me and Jason, you know, we all hit the road. Hannah, we hit the road. You know, we'd get the club, get the radio, do our own promo, our own flyers, to the point where promoters said around the world, you can't book Tip. They do their own shows. Mm-hmm. You know, and uh. I just knew then that that changed the bag from 2,500 to 25,000. You know, you're able to give your artist more money, and he looking yeah. like, "Shaw, that is for real, Shaw, that's me." Yeah, that's you. you, know? you <laughs> Same <laughs> $2,500 show. This $25, big, same $2,500 show. So this, you know, we start going. I I start going places I knew. You know, how cats get down. You know. So we went to Kenosha, Wisconsin. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Tip, some like, niggas up there. Yeah, Tip was like, Shotty, why are we going up here? Shotty, what is it? A lot of niggas up there. You know, a lot of I knew the niggas from Detroit and the niggas from Chicago. Chicago they pulling up. They go to Kenosha because you could get welfare the first day. No shit. So they would all. get you get some money. First day you get a check. <laughs> yeah. wow. yeah. They still doing that? They must have wanted <laughs> niggas there. Yeah. Oh, what nigga we mean? coming? What the fuck you talking about? So they get that welfare. This sound like y'all meant for yeah. us to be here. Yeah. yeah, you Open know, they get that welfare, them checks, and, you know, they, they buy crack. It's a hustle. You know what I'm saying? It's so all them, cats, all them cats was getting so Ooh, much money out there. Sweet lit. You, I knew it ain't no real entertainment coming out here. That's it, man. But they got money. Feel you the know void. What I mean? they, Nowhere to spend. You know what I mean? So yeah. you, you, you wonder why. Why Mulberry wanted to leave Minnesota and all that because snow you can't really they can't really get down and buy the cars and the jury and go nowhere because yeah. it's snowing they had to you in the house. be in yeah. but uh we we would go to them markets you know all those markets and break mm. you know because a lot of cats oh how I break you know sometimes you ain't gonna break even break in your city yet even right. though Tip was who he was we broke we broke everywhere else you know in them secondary markets. You know, so I felt like the comedy shit, we could do the same thing. Same we could go to these secondary markets and we'll break. Could you talk about that All-Star weekend when like 24s dropped and when y'all was 
Y'all, when that All Star was coming to Atlanta and y'all niggas was gearing up, y'all motherfuckers had the city. Everybody was playing 24s that weekend. Like, <laughs> like the weekend it dropped, we shot a video. I just remember All Star weekend and it was only <laughs> grand <laughs> shit. I just, you well, know what's so funny? Nah, he'd be laughing. He said, can you tell somebody? And then he goes. And, yeah, he uh, told him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what you said, nigga? Shit. <laughs> what you nah, said, nigga? No, nah, what's so funny is that I don't remember these moments mm. because we was living these mm-hmm. moments. Mm-hmm. And this is before the rap music, you know, before the Tip dropped. Shit. You know, before Tip really dropped, you know, all due, due respect and love, I I was in these streets getting down for real already. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, I had a group. Uh, Co-Ed was one of our groups. Co-Ed? Shout out to you know, my yeah. Co-Ed. Was with me and, oh, yeah, that, with me. if you know that's the first rap, that's the first record that Tip rapped on Did that he know? actually received a check for. Whoa. That's hard. But he, he, it didn't come out because at that time, Goody Mob was hotter mm-hmm. and Gip, Gip had a... Uh, Solo deal, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. So they put Gip on the on Damn. the record, versus Damn. they took Tip off and put Gip on the record. Gip over Tip. Yeah, Gip over Tip. Gip over tip. <laughs> <laughs> but but once again, <laughs> legendary. I mean, I I wouldn't laugh. Legendary, you know what I mean? Because I give you my story mm. why I say legendary. Okay. You know, I was at a club in Velvet. I was at the Velvet Room, I believe. Man, and, uh, remember the room. Room, my and, favorite shit. No, it wasn't the Velvet Room. I'm Damn, sorry, because y'all too divisions. y'all don't know this room. Everybody knows. <laughs> 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 it ain't no shit y'all can relate yeah, yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Let me see. Sharon Showcase? No, he <laughs> said Velvet Room and everybody had a memory lane. But y'all, <laughs> but y'all had a memory outside the room. <laughs> you know outside the room. Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. No, no. I know a nigga that sweep up. No, it was called the Vixen. It was called the Vixen. The Vixen Lounge? Yeah, but I, I know, you know, I'm a name drop. I was in there. I was in there with Tupac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah was Tupac that, over there that by that Chick Chick. Chick. Actually, Pac was in there with me. Oh okay. uh, yeah, this nigga had Pac over there. Was Nicky at first? <laughs> no, no, no. Nicky's was standalone his own shit. Was Jada Pinkett there? No, no, no. Great question. Them other days. But no, uh, <laughs> no, but so but, Tupac was already in there. Yeah, no, nah, he was he was there. He was he was actually staying with my partner Dion. Mm. You know. Now I'm saying like, what was that? Like, wait, wait, around what time was that? Was this all that eyes was on 90, me? Tupac? 90, 92, 93. Oh, so this is fucking. This was before he shot the cop. Copy. You know what I mean? Mm. It was probably about two weeks before he shot the cop. But he told me he said, uh, <laughs> he "Put the battery in his back." You see, right before, yeah. God damn. No, no, he told me he said he said. This, you know, you heard this noise come in the in the room. You hear who the who, who the who. And Pac said, "Oh shit, that's Goody Mob." Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. He said, "He said, man, they gonna be biggest group in the world." Wow. He you wanted know? to join Goody Mob. Yeah. Yeah. Pac so when they the come club. in, yeah, yeah. so when they come in the club, you know, I see them. You know, you know, Gip was always with that shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So they come in, they come in deep. You know, like <laughs> yeah, I'm like damn, we looking. <laughs> You know, we looking like, damn, they deep. You know what I'm saying? Shit, we got to start a fight. You know what I mean? We got to. We got to. To get respect. We got to. see what they talking about. What? what no, we got to start a fight with somebody in the crowd. Yeah. You know what oh, we, yeah, so we, we So these we niggas see together. what we talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you was on this like, oh, I remember shouting them. They was getting down. Yeah. Hey, this Shout is a trap. Get down this the middle of yeah. Vixen Lounge. This is yeah, that's what we did. Told Vixen Lounge up. <laughs> no, we did. We did. True story. Pop jumped off stage. We got. You know, we fought and left. Oh, yeah, man. they gonna remember this. <laughs> <laughs> you know how many Rip Rayon shirts was in this yeah. club for? Why is it so yeah. hard to be a rapper though? Like, you no, know, we. Like, no, you, you had to make your mark. You gotta bro. go fight just to rap. Bro, no, you had to make your mark. Goody Mob walk in. Right. Yeah. We gotta fight. We gotta fight. We gotta fight. Like I do music. We got to fight. What is yeah. What does got to do with the studio? Right. No, they got to they, they got to get around town, you know what I'm saying? Nah. We, we got we had to fight. Yeah. That's why all of this violence? Now, That's why yeah. I love pianos. Yeah, man. <laughs> I love I'm a musician. I hate fighting. No, get we love fights. We just like to fight. That's the only way we going to get a fight. That's amazing. So what was Pac like like when y'all kicked it? Like was he did he roast all the time? Was he fucking around like was he too good good soul, just a good soul, you know. You know, my time with just being around my time, my limited time, you know, this was pre, you know, I guess before he did uh, Get Yours, Get Mine. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 at that time, I was really tight with 
Andre Rising. So we would always, you know, all us. Well, you, you was know, in the mix. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was in the mix. I was one of them niggas that niggas like to be around. He you called I mean? you when, when his house was on fire? Nah, you know, actually, uh -oh. see, I got other stories. It's just funny, though. You know, you know, that's right, actually. I can't to goddamn. I think nigga changed the battery in the store. He said he didn't do it. Nah, no, that's nigga funny. Ain't do, it. do it in the in the tub. It's gonna no, but my partner, one of my partners, Trap, was dating Lisa a long time ago. So Lisa, all of us, all of us was, it was a circle, right, circle right. of people that was doing doing things. But right. make a long story short, Pac, the night Pac and Lisa really linked. You know, you hear the story. Dre finally told the story. You know, Dre was, you know, the man. But, you know, Lisa, you know, that's Tupac. She wanna see Tupac. You know what I mean? But <laughs> Dre the man at that time. That's it's just so far back you laugh because you in the club now we smoking weed. I remember Pac had lit up some weed in the club, it was diamonds and pearls. Uh and uh they threw him out. What? And uh, he was and, like, This man. Yeah, no, he said, <laughs> no, no, they threw him out. He, you know, they threw him out because that just so how far back it was. You know, now every club exactly. you smoke yeah. weed in. Yeah. But Especially he said, yeah. you know, I can remember clearly he getting thrown out. He said, how you going to throw a nigga with diamonds out of diamonds? <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. But the whole club left yeah. with him. The yeah, whole, yeah, yeah. When he got put out, we all left. Yeah, Everybody left. Realize. But uh, yeah. later, him and Dre got linked in, and that's when you see the uh, Bree – Bree video shot at Dre's house. Oh, you know, that oh, shot sure. at Dre, get yours, get mine, was shot at okay. Andre's house. Same house that Lisa Burnt. Oh, and if shit. you look at the video, you see Pop with his, with Dre's jersey on, mm. holding real guns and weed. And <laughs> mind you, Dre got cut after that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man, they didn't play back then, boy. You, you know, the NFL what? didn't play like that. You know what I mean? But yeah. yeah. Because Dre was the nigga you see before you see a meet. You know, with 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 twenty cars the same color, you know, mm -hmm. you know, coming. Andre Rising parties, boy, man. Yeah, he oh, from, yeah. you know, he from he from Michigan. You know, you know all the Michigan players. Yeah. You know, they was down here. All the Flint players, all of them. You know, yeah. everybody. So how how'd you how'd you function how'd you function with BMF? Speaking of me, I mean, meet my brother for you know real deal. You yeah, know? I don't I didn't know the BMF. I knew Meach. You know mm. what I mean. You know, now you get to see his story, you know, gotcha. the 50 boys, uh, you know, all my partners is, like I said, from the D. So, you know what I mean? Midwest my partner, we all, they all came up together as kids. Mm. So when Meach came to Atlanta, we was all, it was just regular. You know, at that time, it was other cliques and niggas that had money. So everybody didn't just look and see, you know, until this new BMF thing came. You know, I got told cats, I met a lot of cats, but seen a lot of cats with money, but I ain't see a lot of cats spend a lot of money. He spent yes. it. That's you know the know thing I mean? about Atlanta, bro. They People come down here. To pull like Lamborghinis, I seen. I was like, oh, it's like I mean, well, he spent it. You know, you look, but 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 this story get to you know when you see the story, you know, we back to dancing. Meach was in the music and dancing. You yeah. know what I mean? You know, you know the the blues and the baby blues, all them. You know them. You know, we go back again. Razzcaz and Blue with cousins. So oh, you know, shit. Blue was a young boy. Yeah, you know, he was all young boys to Adventure. us. You Sean know what I mean? You know, but to see <clears throat> the unity side of of different genres of cats from different cities link up, get money together. You know, that's when you seen the enterprise mind of Meach that he, this man could really run a Fortune 500 company. You know what I mean? Beyond whatever else, you know, was mm -hmm. going on. He unified a bunch of cats. And they was never on no rah rah shit. It was no, a bunch yeah. of them. They was shit me. <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm just saying. I'm saying when it went down, it went down. But niggas kind of got. No, it was just. It was a time, like I said, that you came into Atlanta before Atlanta niggas really was sticking together. You know. You know what I'm saying? That's the first time I ever seen where Atlanta dudes wouldn't beefing. No, they wouldn't click in with each other. They let outsiders come oh, in, really. Yeah. You know. Mm. Before you know. Atlanta niggas didn't play that. You know, a book bag of money do help that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's the thing about Atlanta. Everybody, not everybody got bread, but niggas come down here thinking that niggas ain't got bread in Atlanta. But are you crazy? Like, no, I like I said, I, I would come here niggas every year as a child. I would come here every year, you know, when I was a kid. But uh, my boogeyman kept me from coming to Atlanta. But I would come to Atlanta. You what? Your my boogeyman. boogeyman. What was your boogeyman? In Atlanta was uh, 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 Wayne Williams. Oh, Black Mike Williams. 
just wasn't playing way with oh, it. He man. said my boogie. Man. That nigga he said my boogie, going, man. I ain't going down. Ain't going. Let me tell you something. That's so funny. <laughs> Yeah. No, my mother stopped letting me come, come to Atlanta That's for the so summer. Yeah. You know, because I used to come to Atlanta and we go to the Omni or go somewhere. Go and yeah, we didn't have to call nobody. Right. Just stay I'm gone. Be gone. You know what I mean? But fast forward back to that, my boogeyman, he called me. Uh, I got a phone call from, from Penitentiary. You know, called yeah. I answered the phone. <laughs> and one thing says, Wayne Williams. Yeah. What? Why? Why Hold on, Wayne he Williams trying called he's your trying to phone? Get, he's yeah. trying to get somebody to make a movie. He wanted Tip to do his story. Yeah. So I was like, all while he was talking to me, all I could hear was Charlie Brown. <laughs> right. <laughs> really? Wah, 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 you should have said your name wah, last. Wah, 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 I was talking to Wayne Williams. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah. What? Yeah. Same reason. He's called, he's called The Office. Dang, trying to tell the story. Nah, it's somebody that we represent. You know what I'm saying? Wanted, he wanted to do business with them on the same path. Yeah. Same Even though D-Day and them get, end up telling their story, you know, the podcast or whatnot. But, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> You know, even though, you know, I'm a conspiracy theorist right. too, but. Oh, yeah, the mm -hmm. clan was killing them people, too. Yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying? I don't everybody. think that man killed them. I don't think he did all yeah, this snatched shit. all of them. He was 5'2". Right. Yeah. Some yeah. of them was men. He was 5'2 with hips. Yeah. Niggas, <laughs> get the fuck out of here. He was in the music business. <laughs> in the music. He was well, in that music. How they said it. I do that music. <laughs> that music. That music. That music. They did that music. That music. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of music, you got any um any memories of uh the young Dolph being around? Cause I know y'all, you know. Uh, yeah, you know I would see Dolph. You know, Dolph was just always like a present, present, respectful kind of dude. You know, you know, you, when people know you that you don't know know you, it do something for you. You know, when you say, yeah, I know you, oh gee, you woo, 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 that do something good. And when I see a cat again, and he's that same person that I saw coming up. You know that's all the way up, and he still give you that same respect. You know, you know that's a sad situation. A sad situation. You know that these kids get in this game, you know, and survive. All of that end up dying a millionaire. Right. You know, right. you, you, you right know, and I'm the, not speaking that the money is the reason, but they end up you die rich. That's crazy. Crazy man. man. You like, know, it's crazy to me that you succeed and you you, you create the avenue goal. for your family and. And, and you creating your legacy, you know, a lot of us don't know about a legacy because we didn't come from a legacy. Facts. You know what I mean? So when you get to a situation where you're able to create a legacy, you know, it's fucked up. You yeah. know, it's fucked up. The conspiracy theorist in me is blaming the labels for, I mean, people are doing, saying, doing all types of music, but the shit that gets pushed is the make sure you buy it outside of your culture first. Secondly, if someone does anything to you, it's a, it's a murder. That's what happens. I mean, I don't think that's got shit to do with the industry. It got to do with how you come up, you know? Yeah, it, yeah, but I'm saying, it's, like, the it's, shit that they It's back to that most. old, uh, don't come home, you know, if you, if you get your ass whooped, go back out there and fight, you right. know? So there's a lot of rappers that didn't come up like that that got on because just because they're yeah, rapping like that, like, especially like in that. There's a lot of, like, studio gangsters was a... Is it, it still I is mean, but there, you got movies. It's, it's studio actors. You know what I mean? Right. I, but I'm I, saying that's the shit that's getting pushed. It's all getting pushed. It's what you choose. You know, when the last time you went and bought a Dead Prez, Prez album? Or when the last time, you know, you're a part of that, that, that culture, too, because I buy that shit. You know, I got turned on, you know, the NWA. You know, I wasn't selling crack, at, you know, in that time, but... Dope man, dope man. You know what I mean? I, I believe yeah. that shit. I went and bought yeah, the clothes. Yeah, but I'm saying so when you get successful, you kind of still got to stay in that mode. You know what I mean? I don't mean? believe that. I believe I believe it is what it is. It's back to why a football player get killed in his community or robbed or, you know what I mean? We're amongst, we're amongst uh, 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 cats that are jealous and envious. Right. You know what I mean? And, 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 and we perpetuate some of that too. You know, mm -hmm. I look at some like I back to when I was in London. I wasn't no 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 name brand whore. Whatever I bought, I put together and we put it together. You know, but now you see different situations. People are afraid to be outside the box because they get judged or somebody laugh at you or you ain't wearing the freshest Jordans or you ain't you know what I mean. It, 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 
it's one of those type of things that stifles creativity to me or stifles the mind of the, mm-hmm. you know. It's back to us as we, we, we obtain wealth or we obtain different situations. You don't want your kid to be, be the gangster, but it was a time, you know, if your kid is a square kid or something, you looking at him funny, you know. Me, I, I, I got in this shit really because I, I definitely want a square son. You know, I want him wise and know what's going on in these streets and what's what's happening. But but I I'm I'm happy my son ain't don't want to be a gangster. You know what I mean? But he listened to that music. But I educate him alongside, and you know he he get to see. He know I got partners doing thirty of the life. He know I done lost lives out here in the street. Yeah. You know, you know I I I think it's communication. You know. Yeah. With with. Because music, if you blame this music, then what happens when you go home? If you don't have no guidance at home or you can't direct your child or, you know. I, I just, mean, what, what, I, what, I, what, I, my bad. I wasn't blaming the music for, in that instance. I'm saying for the particular artist, like if you're a country artist, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to worry about that same situation. And, and I'm agreeing with what you're you saying. You might not have saying, to worry about that situation because it might not be reported. Well, yeah, I'm just saying like in, in – well, the what's reported to us is the rappers that are being killed like at an alarming fucking rate. But and then they're that, successful. Then, then, then to take that to some of them, you know, yeah. some of them, you know, it's back to me telling. And, and, and I'm not speaking of Dolph. I'm speaking of just situational situations. Some of them still got one foot in, one foot out. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Just because you rapping don't mean that this, this nigga you robbed two years ago. <sighs> Don't I still want to get shit. at you, right? That's a fact. You know what I mean? And, and you antagonizing him. He watching your. He watching. He watching, you, watching you getting it. You know that it's reality because all these niggas ain't studio gangsters. We we may say that, but all of them ain't. Mm-mm. A lot of them is doing this shit for real. You know, and you yeah, especially the, now these motherfuckers is really fucking like about murdering. It, yeah, it, they are not. Fucking I mean, around. and that's society and that's life. You know, uh, but you got to be able to pull yourself up. From that, right. you know, it's right. back to what I know. You know, I know for a fact. You know, it perpetuates energy. You know, yeah. You know, we we doing music, and when you cross over, now you no more viable. Or it ain't real no more to the niggas in the street. Say you get your worldwide hit or whatever. You know, we go from twenty fours to living your life. You know what I mean? Well, I'm in the era of the 24s. We hitting these cities. That shit you talking, niggas want to see if it's you. Right. Yeah. And they you was know. pulling up on you. Like, the right. street niggas on, was there every time you came. Hey. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They want to see if you, if that's what you. So, so, so you think artists should, if they get to a certain level, should move out of their cities? Like, to pursue the talent all the way? Like. I, I'm 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 a firm believer in this. Back to prime, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I ain't changed my address. Change. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Yeah. You 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 working to get out of your situation? Do I say abandon and turn your back on on the hood? No. If you're not going to the hood and buying property or 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 creating avenues or ways for people in in that area or environment or educating. Nigga, get the fuck up out of there. Why are you there? If you just come in there to show a nigga your car and your jewelry, you know what I mean? And and once again, we we preempt this with Dolph. This have nothing to do with Dolph Mm -hmm. because he was buying back his hoods. You know what I mean? He was doing what you're supposed to do. He was making millionaires. You know what I mean? He was making other millionaires. Mm -hmm. There's other young people just like you who came up like you that's eating or creating, whether it's a rapper, whether it's a director, whether it's somebody creating clothing line now if you're not do i think that's your give back if right. if 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 you help and change the lives of others to change the lives of others you've done your job right, right. but me saying that you got to go hang out in the hood and you got to go kick it well i'm a i'm a different dude you know what i mean i like to go i like to go back to what what people look like me it, am i safe all the time no do you got to decide or determine what makes you say, I'm going to go back in, I'm going to go kick it. But then sometimes in your mind, you got to be smarter. 
Yeah. You got to say, I can't. It's sometimes you can't do, do what you do. Right. You know, you got to think a cat like to get out and pump his own gas. Well, you may not be able to pull over to the same spot you used to pull over and pump your gas. Even if you laid down 100 niggas, it's somebody sitting there that see you as, as a target. Right. Yeah. That shit was hard, though. I know, like, y'all went through it even in Grand Hustle with, like, Dobie. Like, just... I mean, he went back home. At he artists got at his pinnacle or, or going to his pinnacle and going back home. Bro. And he went back home because he promised somebody something. That's, right. that's what I'm saying, bro. You can't even go and back And you get home killed by that. somebody you know. Right. You didn't get killed by a stranger. A lot of times these dudes ain't getting killed by strangers or, or regular, you know, you're getting killed by somebody you know. Who's always been a snake when you was broke. Right. You know what I'm saying? You always look around a nigga that won't. You may not have nothing, but your, your, your talk game to the women may be better than his. Mm -hmm. And he might have more money than you, but he's still envious of the way you talk to that woman. It, it, you can't run from hate. Dang. You know what I mean? You, you could create all the love and you could create the whole environment of Every, you, you can bring a nigga up and be equal to you. But if they want to see your demise or they have hate, for, hate in their heart, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. You know, do I say, once again, back to you saying, I don't think it's wise for you to just go hang out in the neighborhood and drive your cars and, you know. But once again, we looking at Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson said, if you can't go amongst your people, you ain't really the people's champ. Yeah, but it was something somebody may have did. The reason you can't go amongst your people, right? Know your jacket. You gotta know what your, you gotta your, know. Your jacket. Mm -hmm. You know, and I once again, I hate this leads back to us talking about Dolph because I don't want oh, anybody yeah, to be thinking oh, no. I'm talking about Dolph's situation because right. oh, no. I'm definitely not. Right. I'm just talking about in situation general, of life yeah. in general. Right. Can I ask you something? See, um, have you noticed like uh, these big festivals like? How the police just be waiting on these young artists? Like, would you like if you was managing a young new artist? Would you advise him to do these festivals or whatever? Because it seems like I would advise him don't do the things that create the police to wait on him. <laughs> right, but I'm just, it looked like twelve be waiting on these niggas. Yeah, they waiting on them because you did something. Yo, I'm sorry, I I'm not no pro. I'm I'm like this. Don't expect you expect the outcome you create. Do I say they 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 profile us and yes, absolutely because. Right. I'm not no rapper, and I get pulled over, I get profiled. You know what I mean? I know what it is, but at the same time, if you give them, giving them a reason, they're going to know, I'm going to wait for you at this festival. I know you finna pull up. I'm going to wait for you on this flyer. I know you finna pull up. Yeah. You can't be out here being a gangster in the daytime and yeah. think you're going to be the rapper at night, and ain't nobody. It's just real, real life. You got to choose. I hate to, I tell all these young and choose but a lot of them be like oh i don't want to do this because i'm broke or i got to get this money and i got to look a certain way for a certain person to believe me you know what i mean we all caught up in that imagery of image of what other people think about us right you know what i mean it, i'd be damn if i'm gonna think about a motherfucker that got fresh jordans on that don't have a house to live in come on man come nigga, on. i'm looking you fresher than me but nigga you going you couch surfing that's, yeah, you know on, I mean, man. I got property. <laughs> you know what I mean, come I may on. not have as much jewelry as you got, but hey, my man, you know what I mean. I just, <laughs> hey, my man. <laughs> you know what I mean. It, it, it just is what it is. It's, it's it's back to what we want in life, or what 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 what's the glory of life? People always look at. It's even amongst you comedians. When you, I know you ain't heard of them say, "Oh, you've been around. You so funny. Why you ain't got no money like such and such? Why? Or why you ain't?" You ain't well. There's a difference between somebody that wants some and somebody that wants it all. I, I can't. I today. can't compare your career to somebody that wants it all. If you want it all, that's that. Good for you. And stop asking comedians why they ain't in movies. This nigga asked me about why you ain't doing the movies and shit, nigga. Because I said no when they called. But, but, but all of them. Down. <laughs> but that all pressure. Of them, <laughs> the folk, that movie shit. I'm working on my podcast. Right. I'm and on that's it. And that's but that pressure, I do. <laughs> But that pressure puts you to thinking you're not great. Yeah, yeah. You I changed I mean? my mindset a long time ago. It's like, you know, I, can you maintain this shit? Like, hot is cool, but can you live off of these jokes? How they say mm -hmm. hot. For Twenty years. Hot cools down. <laughs> Yeah, can't stay warm. Good gets greater. Facts. You know what I mean? If 
Come on, I, man. I'm just, I'm just, a, I, I yeah. never want to be a, 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 a slave of my lifestyle. Ooh. You know what I'm saying, me? I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to create a means that I got to be a slave to, to live. Never. I, you know what I mean? That's back to living above your means. You hear people say that? Well, shit, if, if my means tell me I need to drive a Honda, I'm going to drive this Honda and I'm going to valet it if I want to. Fuck you mm-hmm. mean. And the cool part is you saying that, you can see, you can hear that in like how Duval posts. He's like, nigga, I got a Prius. What the fuck you talking about? Like, I, I'm going to save my money. He's, this nigga put save your money up all the time on it. <laughs> and you can spend it like you want to spend it. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, and I'm, on, and I'm I, I champion anybody if that's you. I'm not going to judge you. If Kevin Hart wants 200 million, man, get it. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I just know I can't go on the trip with you right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I gotta go on my trip. My yeah, trip say so. this way. Meet me now. If you can meet me over here at Tulum, I can go to Tulum. <laughs> I can do Tulum. <laughs> yeah, I can do Tulum. Yeah. Tulum. Tulum. Island's okay. That's the name. Well, y'all charter in the yachts alone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go to Tulum. I go to Tulum. I, go to Tulum. I pull up in Mexico. I got a little coupon code for you. Yeah, that's 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 I'm just serious. I'm just serious. <laughs> Just no, I, 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 there's a there's a lot of opportunities with me within myself that I could have I could have caked up on, but this ain't that ain't where I want to be at. That ain't that ain't for me. Talk about your uh, partnership with George Jardine, the the, the week. Oh, I'm man. wearing that. Okay. Am I wearing that? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay, I know I'm gonna promote. Let's I gotta check, but no, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying. No, but no, these. This was really just a uh, uh, easy migration or whatever. My homeboy, uh, Stevie Williams. I don't know if y'all know Stevie. See, that's wrong with you black people. <laughs> no, Stevie's one of the greatest. No, no Stevie's one of the greatest uh, skaters, skateboarders in, mm. in, in the world. I look oh, you know, he's straight from Philly. Oh, no, nah, I know who you're yeah, you know what I mean. That's not the dude who did Dirty Ghetto Kids. That's Stevie. Okay, Dirty cool. Ghetto. All right, cool. Dirty Ge- Ghetto Kids. Stevie. Stevie knew he was like Clay. I gotta plug you to somebody. This goes back to me saying why you share your opportunities. Mm. He never said I'm gonna plug you because I'm gonna make me some money off this play. I'm gonna plug you because you're a good fit for this. Mm. So he plugged me. Built relationships uh, with these guys, and now we're getting ready to create some other opportunities. But I passed on the opportunity to others. But we, I find us, if we can't put ourselves in the equation, we shut it down. Mm. That's real. You know what I mean? If I can't make nothing on it, why, the, why I'm gonna plug I'm you? Do it. Yeah. yeah, I believe that kills the evolution of natural growth. You know what I'm saying? If if now if you make something or you being put in a position, you feel like you want to kick something back. I ain't opposed to that. Right. But what I am saying is, why the fuck I'm gonna block a play for you? Cause I didn't get nothing out of right. it. Come on, That's man. just crazy to me. Yeah. Because I'm a firm believer. You if no you lame, get in, bro. you get in, and you lock it in. You gonna tell me where a window open at mm. or cracked? You ain't got. I ain't got come through the front door. Tell me that there's no security between the hours of nine to four. <laughs> I'm, I'm there. You know what I'm saying? Have- so that means I'm not gonna show up at eight forty-five. Mm. I'm gonna show up at nine o'clock. I'm not gonna climb out the window at four o two. I'm gonna climb out that window before four o'clock because we find ourselves climbing out the window at four o two. And we're like, damn, nigga, I got locked up. They <laughs> fucked me up. Damn, my nigga. But you had the rules. You, I gave you the rules. Mm-hmm. You decide to get into the situation and make your own rules up. Mm-hmm. That's what's wrong with us. That's my firm belief. That, nigga, you, why you make your own rules up when I gave you the, I gave you the play? Gave you the play. This the play. You know what I'm saying? It, but that comes to why sometimes you may not want to share. Because I share with you, and you decide to make your own rule up. That's a fact. Now, now what happens is, I can't even go back to the play. All right. Mm. Oh. Because you fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> you 
You fucked it up. Fuck so that. Up. So once again, I like to show plays. Here's a play. Here's a play. Here's a play. If you fuck it up, that's your business. Don't attach me to you. None of that. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't owe me nothing. You know what I mean? Now, if you do it right, something's going to fruitate. We all going to eat. Mm-hmm. We all right. going to eat. I'd rather be there to be able to plant a seed and watch that tree grow so we all can pick some fruit. You know what I mean? We all can get some. Well, shit, I want to say appreciate it, man, because you've been very pivotal in my career. Anytime it wasn't nothing moving, you like, Ronnie Jordan, do this, this, and this. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> but, like, but what people don't understand is, <laughs> people don't understand is, I'm giving myself an opportunity by giving you an opportunity. Because this motherfucker going to stop calling me if I can't produce. Right, right. So if you don't come through for me, you killed the chain. Mm. The chain is created by this person tasked me to do something. Or, so they're going to call my phone because, hey, Clay can get this done. You know, you be thinking I did it for you, and nigga, I did it for me. Yeah. <laughs> for you to do it for you. It is. <laughs> Maybe it's the bad no, you know, no, no, you know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a firm believer in that. You know what I mean? That, that Makes sense. People, people, if I create a good Rolodex, you know what I mean? It, that's more important and more powerful than money to me. Bro, you know who you remind me of, bro? He just got inducted into the Hall of Fame, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. His name Clarence. Uh, Avon. Clarence, Clarence Avon. Avon. Clarence Avon, Avon the black but, godfather. But that goes back to Clarence's, the Don King's, the, you know what I mean? You know, he's from Cleveland. I don't care nothing about what your business practice was or whatever. Right. But you've put people in places to create. You know what I mean? That's a lost art, bro. Like, and if you don't, if you don't put... I like to be in a room or walk in a room and don't have to be introduced because somebody else already sh- spoke for me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's just on some real shit. Mm-hmm. I done walked in the rooms where there's millionaires in this room mm-hmm. and this one person, Clay, you gave, you put me on, you gave me, a, you told this, or you did. To me, that's better than me being one of the millionaires. You know what I mean? Let me tell you something, bro. Clay... <laughs> Clay is so synonymous with just real nigga shit. You remember it was the one while and out. And I think at the time, me and your husband. <laughs> oh, nigga, I was, I was there. <laughs> felt some type of way about something goofy. It was goofy. And then uh, nigga was like, yo, yo, you don't want to try that with Clay, bro. <laughs> yeah, like, the whole Clay was not he was trying to, Yeah, he was trying to hype up, and I was like, I did him like that's a like, new friend. The whole entire grand ain't the room one, trying bro. to make sure <laughs> that they knew that. <laughs> no, I just, sometimes you got to tell a nigga your address. Right. <laughs> Hey, you on the south side. Right, you, bro. We are over here Your already. shop is over at Wood. <laughs> <laughs> don't think I don't know who you are. You don't know who I am. Fuck nah, you nah, did. I mean, yeah. nah, I didn't have to. That shit was scary, though. It was like, no, 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 for real. No, Clay, he, he, he doesn't know. He doesn't know, Clay. <laughs> Clay, he doesn't know. Hey, Clay blinking that light man come down from that gaff with your bow, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I believe in nonviolence. I just understand we all got to treat each other like we are somebody. You know what I mean? And until we're nobody, you know? And I'm, I, I, I believe this. You know, I got robbed one time by not listening to somebody because I thought they were nobody. Damn. You know? At the particular time it was going down, he told me, Clay, they getting ready. They putting masks and gloves on. Man, I'm over here in this important meeting. Quit talking to me. <sighs> Learned my lesson laying on the pavement. <laughs> mm. <Yeah. laughs> you know what I mean? Just just keeping it one hundred, bro. Nah, that's yeah. real. You know, uh, reality is reality. You know, right. uh, you never know. You know, I heard this one artist say, "Nobody helped me get in, get here. I've done this on my own." Ain't no way. No way. And another famous artist told her, "What about the person that at this time we was licking stamps, licked the stamp? What about mm. the person?" It's in the office, made a phone call for your record to get added. What about, you know what I mean? Right. You forget that the, the intern, I've seen the intern become the president. Mm. I've, I've seen not. it with my own eyes. I've seen the intern become the boss, you know. And the intern has a mind like an elephant. 
got Come to on, remember. Buddy. You know what I'm saying? You ain't seen yeah. no PAs turning to producer showrunners. <laughs> like, the table's turn, bro. Shout out to Crystal Clear, bro. Yeah, yeah shout yeah, out to Crystal. Yeah, oh, directed man. Queens. Yeah, that's just real. It's, and, and it's real, you know. Uh, I ain't. I ain't saying kiss somebody's ass because you think they're going to be somebody tomorrow. Right. I just say kiss their ass because they somebody today. Mm. You know? Well, treat people like humans. That's it. <laughs> really. oh, you can treat them like shit sometimes. Man. <laughs> That's just a natural process of life. Sometimes you got to treat them like sometimes shit. You gotta, sometimes, like sometimes shit. you know, I, my, I, my mother always told me treat people like, like, like they want to be treated. Mm. Not like you want to be treated because me yet. I have a different way of I want to be treated. Mm. You might enjoy getting your ass kicked. <laughs> I might try to show you something different and then you buck on me. <laughs> I'm going to show you what you like. Mm. Now, mm -hmm. if you want to change that, change your way of thinking. Change, you know what I mean? Change your structure of life. <laughs> <laughs> Just reality. Right. So, so, so on the comedy side, like, you feel like you've conquered the music TV producing, so now is it is is it comedy? Is the is the great frontier for you? No, nah, this comedy is just a high for me. Mm. You know, I like that. I like to see it. I like, you know, I can honestly say when I you see people, you know, Tiffany came to me a long time ago and said, "Clay, manage me." Wow. Well, I didn't know what she had. Right. So this is just to really honestly tell you, you don't know shit. <laughs> Nobody knows nothing. What's, what's for you is for you. And what you create is what you create. Now I can assist. I can help turn the light on. I can help plug a light. I can get another door open. But what's for you is in you, inevitably in you. And, and this, this may sound cliche, but I'm just being 100 because don't nobody know what your end is. Mm. You know, I might give up on you in four months. Because in four months, it just ain't happening for me. I, that, that's me. That would be my energy. Right. But you may be a person that say, fuck that. I'm going to keep being resilient. Mm -hmm. You know, I've, I've seen, you know, I, there's a comedian right now. He gets booed every time he hits the stage. <laughs> this nigga is trash. But it's, he know who he is. He Shout out to Pierre. What's up, bro? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get better, man. No, I'm just But, I'm just know who but this, is, this is just my opinion and being. <laughs> no. it, it, but I what I like about him is his tenacity. Mm, got to. Now, you got to know when to say no. You got to know when it's over. This is the nigga that got booed three times at K Dub Rose. Did he roast him? He tried. Three times? He, did, he went on. He, he did a set. He got booed. Then he tried to roast. He got booed. Then he tried to come back up and roast again. He got booed. Again. Which one was that? Let's was that roast. And all up time, <laughs> oh, the four I ain't time never seen a nigga get that, triple oh, roast. That was the last Damn, night. Three no, took three. No, this particular dude, I've seen him be funny, and then he just bomb, bomb, bomb. So the last time I've seen him. Oh, that sucks. But I'm a believer in this, <laughs> bro. If you feel as good, you know what I mean, and you feel you great, keep, keep doing going. you. Now, if it don't work. That's on you that it don't work. That means if you if you're not fine tuning it and you keep on with the same bullshit, right. then that's you. you know, I'm just saying. Come on, fine true. tune your this bullshit. This is all true shit. This is, if you keep no on, lies. if you don't, if you don't like I tell you, if you don't look at that stage as a place to to get better, right? You know, right. what's the purpose what's of you going on the stage? Right. You know, everybody could have a bad night. This boo ain't gonna dictate. Well, they're going to be at tomorrow. Mm -hmm. It may, it, I may look and say, maybe it's something I didn't work. I should have bobbed instead, instead of weaving. weaving. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now you know. You got to get back in there and, and, and bob. Swear, but you like that better than comedians hiding at your night. Because you know some people come to your night and just want to be seen. And I'm there. okay with that if you in the room working. Like I tell people, you ain't always got to be on the stage, my nigga. Mm. It's a room. Work the room. What Sometimes leave out of here with a phone number. You know, I took a, this artist said some nice shit about me and I appreciated it. I took these kids on the road with me one time. And uh, we the hottest we ever been. And these kids is just nobody's right now. Nobody know you. We get back and, you know, we go, they passing out flyers or whatever. We get back in the van and we just talking, you know. We on our way back. Now, mind you, we the hottest, we hottest fish grease. Hmm. So any part of us to touch us 
motherfucker gonna want to touch. We get in the car, I asked him, I said, okay, you know, they talking to us. I said, I said, I said, how, who got some phone numbers in here? You know, who got the hoes? Oh, I, I met this hoe, I met woo woo, I did that. I said, okay. I said, uh, you know, yeah. I said, well, shit, what, you, what you do? He said, I'm A&R. I said, oh, shit, okay. So as we get further down the road, I asked, uh, what was the DJ's name? Oh. You got 10 hoes numbers and you get the DJ the number? The DJ, come on. We the hottest shit in this building. Mm-hmm. You an A&R, you tell telling me you place music and records and you don't even, you don't even know the DJ name? Who the promoter? Mm. Who who got you in this building? You just rolled down here to pass out flyers and meet hoes? You know what I mean? I don't need you. You serve no purpose to me now. You know what I mean? Now, if you want to come to the party, I'm going to tell you where the party at. But we at the hottest point of our career, and you're not working the room. People want to touch us. Mm -hmm. They can't touch me. They can't touch him, but they can touch you. Get his phone number. Talk to him. Follow up. Call back next week. Now you got now you got a DJ that know you associate with a successful brand. So whatever you bring to him, that's your work now. Thanks. You got an opportunity to work. But the young boy told me, he said, when I said it to him, he said, never. And I asked him, I said, well, what's your placements? Who, you ain't R. Who? You ain't no placements? So don't tell me you ain't R. You're a fucking intern. Sheesh. You pass out flyers. You be with you know, them. That's you. <laughs> you, fucking, you, be, you with them. With you, them. With, you ain't shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you kicking talking it, about? <laughs> but now, like he told me, you know, he said, he, ever since then, he ain't won a year without a placement. Come on, There we now. go. Because he never, ever want to be that dude. Mm-hmm. You don't want to be that replaceable dude. Facts. You know what I mean? Whether a comedian in the back hiding. I, what you hiding for? I'm finna get paid next week. Right. I'm getting paid this week. What you hiding for? Mm-hmm. Now, if you see somebody bomb, you might want to go ask that nigga, can you help him write some jokes? Mm. You might want you you might want to ask the nigga what the next room he in. I don't know that that's just me. I, when your community shuts down, the the craft leaves. You know, you, I hear it all the time. Stand up, no more. Stand up ain't real no more. But I hear it. I don't know this craft enough to say what it is or what it ain't. Well, I stick to those, you know, that maybe this is the craft you want. The great thing about it is during this pandemic, everybody wants something live now. Everybody. Yeah. So if I, got, if I got something to give somebody now, people want to come out. They want to see it. I'm going to get on that stage. Whether I create another avenue, whether I create podcasts or... You know, like you guys, you know, we seeing we seeing what Wildin' Out brand has done for other comedians that followed and build upon it. Thanks. You know, it, it, I I'm just not in the world of waiting on nobody. I can't wait. I just gotta go. You know what I mean? Whether I fuck all my money up and figure it out, I can't be sitting in the back scared. You know what I mean? I I gotta go. You know. And, is an opportunity like Tiffany Haddish that came around and, and like she's going to do her thing, is it like a reason why you would probably like pour into somebody like a, a Erica Duchess right now or? I pour in, it, and this is funny. I got to tell Erica, you know, not tell our business, I ain't your manager. I just want to manage situations. Hmm. And as loyal as you are to me, I'm to you. You know what I mean? You mm-hmm. can go and go left and go right. I don't care. You, the development of you helped create the development of the next motherfucker. Right. And if I got an opportunity to get you, I can't get on stage and tell jokes. Well, here's an opportunity. You get on stage and tell jokes. You know, it comes back to me being able to get a phone call and be able to make a phone call. Mm. That's what's important to me. Shout out to Erica for doing Boosie's uh, show, man. So, yeah. And I know that was a that was a spinoff of a play. Nah, club. this is what's funny. This is funny. Boosie, of course, that's my dog. Mm-hmm. So it's back to guilt by association, create creation. 
I can introduce you to somebody, but if you ain't got shit to give them, it ain't nothing but an introduction. Facts. I went down there, me and Duval went down there for Boosie's weekend. On a Friday, Boosie say, Clint, where that girl, that funny girl? Hey. Man, man, get her down here, man. Man, get her down here, man. Man, I got some money for her, man. Man, get her down here, man. Oh, he amazing, That's amazing, Boosie. That's a great Boosie. Nigga, we on Saturday, he said, man, man, call her, man. Get her on the phone, man. Get her here, man. And this is because she went to his movie premiere and she met him. Right. She she worked the room. Worked the room. That just know how to work. She worked the room. Yes. What can you say? I I can't go and say, mind you, I had told Boosie, hey, you doing your comedy weekend? You know, you know, not to be that nigga, but we're your comedians. You know what I'm saying? You know, but that's just me being an asshole. You know what I'm saying? You know, looked up his lineup. (laughs) (laughs) What you got over there? But everybody on the show was cold, so don't get me wrong. You know what I'm saying? But I said, hey, nigga, hey, man, man, I man, why don't you got to get through this, man? <laughs> I just got to get through it. So on Saturday, I'm telling you, we at the show. He said, man. So I called Erica. I said, hey, Erica, I got a plane ticket for you. Fuck you mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Did I say Duchess? I did that. Did I say Duchess? You owe me this money for this flight? No. I knew my man said, can you get somebody here? Yeah, I, I got Sky Miles. Shit, come on. Erica, what do you mean, let go? Come let on. go. Erica, just get here. Can you get here? Yeah, I'm on my way. Next day, she on the plane. Standing ovation. Lift that bitch up. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, you, you have to be available to be available. Mm. You know what I'm Speaking man. of Duchess, man, she's on our Patreon reading sex novels. Man, it's oh, yeah. so funny. And speaking of sex novels. Sex novels? Tyler, do we have a sex novel? Yeah, hey, man, damn. the stories of a succubus by Monty the Highest, man. Shout out oh, to the man. QTN, man. Based on true events, she tells you how true to give head in any situation. <laughs> I really Full don't know. Full ha- paperback version of yeah. a succubus. A yeah, succubus. Yeah. stories of a succubus, man. Okay. We'll get you a copy, man. No, I don't want no copy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's for your lady, though. It's for your lady. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 I've been with mine 20 plus, so you know what I'm saying? Hey. Hey. You don't need to know how. <laughs> it's, for your, it's for your girl to read on the toilet. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Good toilet reads. Good toilet Stories read. of a Good succubus, man. Copy right succubus. now. That's cold. Black yeah. on, man. Black on they self-published. Read, they reading it live, you said? Oh, so no, no, she's not reading that. We got her a, long, a while back. Right. Um, filmed her reading some romance novels. Because I, I just I just love it. Just like everybody else. We just love E, man. So we had her doing a bunch of shit with us. We had her doing that. And you know how she has her spirit. She was doing spirit readings with each one of Nigga, the uh, more than so culture funny. members. Oh no, Super she funny. I, I I have to be honest, she wanted the coldest to me. Very funny. You know, and and, 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 crazy. and and you know, like I said, that goes to all of them that's out here grinding. You know, I see them. You know what I'm saying? The Kelly Kells. I I, I see them. Kelly, man. They're out here grinding. And I think it's Shima, you know what I mean? I just Shima think would work the room too. No, nah, Shima cold. She she cold she, she, she just boy. did her she just did her 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 special, her yeah. special code, but I'm a firm believer in if we don't network, mm. our art is gonna be lost. You know, and I accept it and say our art because I think I'm a part of it now. No, you but are. if we don't network and we don't reach out and help each other, you know, even if you do think a nigga colder than you. Well, you you scared to be on the show with them for right. what? Sharpen that sword. You know what I mean? That's just gonna create you to have the ability. You know, you look at somebody like Floyd, you'd be thinking, "Well, you the greatest fighter in the world." You'd be like, "Why is he fighting? Why is he sparring this bum?" Well, this bum got a mean right hook, and all he got is this right hook. <laughs> And Floyd can't fuck with it. Floyd can't fuck with this right hook, <laughs> so he gotta def- he gotta go in here and work out with this nigga with this mean right hook, right, so he right. knows how to defend himself. Right. You know what I mean? He gotta go with a journeyman that can go twelve rounds, mm-hmm. because stamina. most Floyd's fights don't last twelve rounds. So I gotta go with somebody that can go twelve rounds. I gotta go with the this is all this person has. They don't have a complete package that you have, but they are great at. This. Mm-hmm. I've learned you deal with people that's great at what they're great at mm-hmm. and you build upon it, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I watch comedians 
because I'm learning, you know. What's funny to me doesn't mean this is going to work in this room or this person is going to work in that room. It's some rooms that people, I've, I've, I've learned and observed it. Some people tell stories. You got to be patient enough to heal the build up, mm-hmm. you know. You know, you know. I've heard people say that Tyler's not funny. All of those people are dead. All those people are dead. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have some haters. You know, but you know, I know he wanted the coldest. You the know, coldest. you know that do what he do. You know right. what I mean? Uh, and, and, and 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 I can only go attest to what I like or what I know. Mm-hmm. You know, I know in some rooms this is not gonna work in this room. Mm-hmm. Because their attention span is not, you're gonna have to get out and they want your mama jokes. They want, yeah. they want you to talk about them. They, you know what I mean? They they want you to kill them. Right. They want to roast. They don't want to sit here and listen to your jokes develop. You yeah. guys know, you yeah. guys know being professionals and knowing how to work a room. But those are the things I learned and I'm watching. Yeah, and is the Hell Yeah comedy show your show? No, that's that's uh, Mo show. Mo show, okay, Mo. Okay. You know Shout what I mean? I just I support. Once is once again, I found an interest in somebody that's doing great things. Bro, when you put some shit on the scene, bro, like niggas start just pulling up, and you be like, "Damn, this nigga here trouble here, nigga, got thing." Chance to earlier than everybody too. He just in there like, "Where you been?" I just believe <laughs> I'm 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 for real. I'm for real about this. If my presence creates other people to come, just because they fuck with me. That don't mean when they leave the room, they just fucking with me. Mm. They fucking with you. They fucking with you. They fucking with what you gave them. You know, nobody gonna pull up and keep pulling up if there's nothing there. They right. don't just keep pulling up because Clay said come fuck with me. No, they pulling up because the brand is good. You know, uh, uh, the, the comedy's good, or you know anything. I, and, and that's what I really believe in. That you gotta share, share your gift. And once again, it makes me strong because I invited you and put you on to something that had a value. Mm-hmm. It wasn't me, it's the value that was there. Now when I call you, you're gonna believe what I say. You gonna, oh, oh, he told me about this. I'm gonna go to the next body he told me about or something, you know. We all, if we all know that we're a vessel for each other. <laughs> You know, the, the shit works. But right. if, if we just want to get the ship moving and going about your business, well, then that's you. Just go. <laughs> Do it in the just first go. place. Just go. I don't, I don't really care. I, I've, 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 you know, contracts are what they're supposed to be, contracts. Mm-hmm. You know. But y'all and make I, it look I, so I, cool. I would never Clay. advise anybody to, to follow what I do. Right. Anybody I've done business with, I ain't got a contract with them. Artist wise, mm. because why I want to make you stay somewhere you don't want to be? Right. Get the hell on. I'm going to get the hell on. Now, I don't put this out there as a business moniker because I do say, hey, you invest your time in something, you better lock their ass in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Me, this is how I operate. I don't give a shit. But I would tell anybody, <laughs> lock their ass in. I'm not. I'm not investing my time in something that 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 I can help build and as a business. If that's you, me, I I feel like I can rebuild or do whatever. Sometimes you miss out on greatness or you miss out on stuff. You know, I I choose to say I miss out on it when it comes to people. You know any any I mean? any big moments or big artists you missed out on? Like I mean, you said Tiffany, but oh like, no, I, I tried to sign, sign Gucci. You know what I mean? You know, he wrote about that in his book. I, it's just not me talking about it. No, I knew. <laughs> no, I knew. I knew Gucci. When I met Gucci, actually, I didn't meet Gucci. This girl that worked at a record store, you know, her boyfriend was Zay Tovin, who's now her husband. You know, she oh. always told me Zay was a, a big time producer. You know, he's gonna be big. So she played me music. Stephanie, now my partner, she played me Gucci's music. Mm. And I was like, damn, I like that name. You know what I mean? But I ain't really, you know. So I was doing my open mics. He came through one of my open mic, boom, linked in with him. Uh, he was with Sign Yourself, I think, then. 
But uh, I took him and his partner throw, and I said, hey, we come and go on the road with me. Mm-hmm. You know, we went to <laughs> we went to Tennessee, I think, with Dirty Laundry. And Dirty it was a laundry. show they had. Dirty it was laundry a show game. they had, DJ Dirty Laundry. It was a show they had, and I brought Gucci down there. And we get there, there's kids and everything. So, you know, I ain't really up. First record Gucci do is Lawnmower Man. And if you know this record, this record's horrible. I mean, when I say, <laughs> when I say horrible, I mean content-wise. Like, yeah, it's crazy. I'm talking about killing and jumping, doing stuff, and I was like, oh, shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> but make a long story short, we drive back, and I gave him some money. And he said, they pay me for this, my dog. <laughs> <laughs> my dog, I, I got some money for this, my dog. I said, yeah, you know what I'm saying? We, we can get us some money around here, you know. But I took him, and a lot of people didn't understand my vision. Right. And he understood then he didn't want to be signed to an artist. Mm. You know what I mean? And of course, I was with Tip. You know, instead of me going my own route, I'm like, you know, Grand Hustle or whatever. But uh, but Gucci has always been some one of my favorite artists, along with Two Chains. You know, artists that I wish I could have had, like Chains right. is an artist I wish I could have had. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, yeah, but he was have, he was already signed, and I used to go to Jeff's offices or call Jeff and say, Jeff, man, Chain ain't gonna be a superstar. Mm. You know, it was just some South Side shit. But I said, Chain ain't gonna be a superstar. I said, Chain, Chain is it, he it. But you know, Jeff told me to give him a hundred thousand dollars. Huh? Shit me? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> you know no, he ain't gonna be it. <laughs> no, 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 but. Yeah. But, but you know, Tech and Chain worked that thing out on their own, and, yeah, you know. Sir. But no Gucci, no. There's a few other artists, you know, that that I, I really. Kirk Franklin. Huh? No, <laughs> no. He was God's people. <laughs> I got a question. Did you uh, have any? We lost the legend Virgil Abloh at 41 the other day. Like, yes, did you have any interactions with Virgil? Yeah. You, know, you and John Monopoly was coming yeah. in when the Donda joint. You know? Yeah. No, Vir- Virgil was actually on tour when I took Travis out. Uh, I took Travis out on his first two major tours. That's what? Break, Hold that's, on, that's now. That's Grand Hustle Travis with the short breaks, right? Yeah, Travis Scott. Yeah, Travis a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> his first two major tours. Actually, his first rodeo tour, I took him out. Wow. I took him out on the Rihanna tour, and I took him out on the weekend tour. And Virgil Jeez. was the DJ for the after parties or the what? headset. He did everything. Yeah, though. he DJ with Trav. Yeah. but that's cool. But, you know, they all come from Kanye's camp. But to make a long, you know, Don C and all them guys. But, uh, yeah, Trav, Trav, uh, actually, MLK found Travis. Shout out to MLK. Shout out to MLK. And, out. you know, I just took a liking to him. You know, he's, he was a bit different. Never knew he was going to be who he is. Mm-hmm. But I, I can't say that. But I knew there was something strange about this dude. You know? <laughs> He asked, us, he asked us to be in a video and put on some tidy whities. Like, no, nah, my dog. We're not, <laughs> my dog, we're not doing that. Dude. We're not doing that. But, you know, this kid had his own vision, you know. Yeah. I can remember clearly he came on. We went to South by Southwest. This nigga had the worst fucked up pair of Air Force Ones I ever seen in my life. This nigga looked like he worked at McDonald's with them shit. <laughs> <laughs> on the fries. You know, Ooh, that's that's dirty, dirty. Yeah, so Tip said, Shawty, mm, Shawty, we're going to get you some shoes. <laughs> Shawty. Wow. So he bought, <laughs> yeah, so he bought him all these shoes. This boy never put them shoes on. Mm. He never put the new shoes on. Yeah. And it's, for four shoes. days, he had them shoes and some ripped jeans. All the way, the ass ripped out these jeans. Like, like, like they looked like, yeah. Yeah. No, they, Matter of fact, they started just like hey, your, man, your, your little knee. They bro, were ripped you know up man. to his balls. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, but but <laughs> but you know, that's that goes back to you got to let the fashion turn to yeah, that, all you, the dirty shoes and stuff. No, nah, that's, that's just fact. That was fashion for him. That's what yeah. I'm saying. This is you know they sell the trap that's dirty now. But. Yeah, but that was his fashion. That was his fashion. His that's why you always say. You got to let people live in their truth. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Right. But back to, you know, I took him out on his first tours, his first major tours, you know, just to see that maturation, you know, to see. I did um, I did him at Beer and Tacos. 
Oh, beer and right. tacos yeah. so yeah. legendary. I brought Travis beer and tacos. You know, you know those my jumping. my dudes. I used to I go to their party on a Wednesday, and I look in the room, and I tell them, y'all really don't know what you got in here. You got kids from all over the world. You know, Michigan, uh, Kansas City, in this one room. Mm -hmm. I said, you know, y'all are A&Rs. Mm -hmm. labels, labels will pay y'all to have their artists come here. So I brought, what did I bring there? I brought Dro there. <laughs> I brought Dro there, French. and I mm -hmm, brought, uh, I told French to go in there. But just to see that room, but make long story short, them guys, we start bringing, I start bringing artists to beer and taco shit. But uh, just once again, it wasn't because I wanted nothing, it was because I knew they had something. Right. You know, y'all got something to give somebody. This shit, is, this shit, this one room right here is powerful. Hopping. So we did uh, Travis Beer and Taco. We did Travis Beer and Taco. He brought a kid on stage who on Twitter, I knew it was gonna be big, but I never could get him, could find him. It was Twenty One Savage. Mm, and, wow. Uh, Twenty One, he stage dived at this show. What? And when he stage dived, he lost his his his, his uh, car keys and his wallet. Damn. And he got that mic and he said, "I'm gonna shoot this bitch up, you motherfucker." I told you that. Hey man, these is these. Watch, hold on. Right. Hey man, I got your keys. I got yeah, you, bro. You know, I said, bro. I said these kids love. They loving you. They ain't, right. You ain't got to do that here. Yeah. They ain't gonna steal nothing. <laughs> shoot, shoot this bitch up. Shoot, shoot this bitch up. And it whole yeah. out. It, it, it's out, funny. Bro. It's funny because we went on the road after that. We went to Dallas. We just went to a show. We went to a show in Dallas. I think twenty one. They came. They probably was in a Honda with about eight niggas and twenty one guns. Twenty one Honda. Yeah. <laughs> It was eight, <laughs> eight, eight niggas in the Honda. Four, crazy. Five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight niggas in the Honda. Honda. <laughs> Twenty-one guns. No, but that. But he's a story that I look at and I see what Measy and all them cats did, mm -hmm. and to see his maturation and transition to who he is now, to understand that you know, you can you can stay one way. But you can make a change to create greatness for yourself. Mm -hmm, you know, yeah. it's just funny to me, you know, to see these kids. We back to the uh, uh, the music, how it affects you, or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's back to what you're gonna do with this music that may affect you. He's delivering this message, but he delivers this message to to the ones that look like this right now. Right. When he made this music strictly for the street, right. you know this. You, you know, know what I mean? That goes back to Gucci. That goes back to, you know, to see the trans transformation of the audience and, you know, the, knowing that I've seen Gucci in, 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 in a, a prime time in the hood club and then go prime see him, time. go see him do a festival, go see Tip, or one of these kids go do a festival, go see a Tip in a, in a, a Chevy commercial or a, uh, you know what I mean? You know, he in a Chevy commercial with Dale Earnhardt. Yep. And this nigga straight, he really from what he say he from. <laughs> you know, and to see it, that goes back to say, you you get out of this shit what you put into it or where, where you want to go, you know, where you want to go in this shit. But yeah. Now, Trav, just to see Travis go from where he went and, you know, the three people in the crowd to have, to selling out a, Selling out uh, uh, Astroworld in 30 that's minutes, 150,000 tickets sold. You know what I mean? I'm talking about he making hit you in three days. <laughs> Festival is the way to go, gentlemen. No, it's just amazing. You know, it's a it's once again, it's what you put into it, I guess. Yeah. Right on, but I don't know where this podcast went because that's why I don't like doing these. Cause ah. I don't be knowing. Oh no, you you know because I ramble. And my no, ramble, we like nah, this. this no, I'm just saying my ramble goes so many places because back to this job, <laughs> I seen a dude about 10 years later, and he said, you know what we used to call you, Clay? I said, no. He said, lying ass Clay. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? They kept it real with you. Right. No, he told me he just called me lying ass Clay because they might ask me what I did last night, and I'd tell them what I did. Oh, yeah. But yeah. not knowing... That this real. person that's working his nine to five that's hitting his clock, this is what he's planning to do when he gets up in the morning. He's planning to come back to work, hit the clock, hit the clock at four o'clock, 
get ready to come back to work. <laughs> Me, right. I was planning to get the fuck up out of here. Right. So where I was going and where my life was going was not that job. You know what I mean? This job was a means and a vessel to do what I want to do. Right. You know, just being honest. That's why I tell these young niggas, keep talking about I can't work a job. Nigga, I worked a job from getting money. I was getting money before I worked that job. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But you got to work a job. You gotta have something that gives you structure mm -hmm. to stability too. To be able to do what you want, that's gonna take care, you know, your life. You know, it, and I don't. It just kills me how you back to that rap music. How everybody's rich. You know what I mean? The illusion of everybody it. got some money. Yeah, everybody rapping. About so they make these kids say they gotta go do dumb ass shit. All right, get some money. To get some money, you know what I mean? You know they they don't tell you about the. The millionaire, you know, the, that w was an intern or the, the one, who, the publicist or that. Don't tell you nothing about those stories, you know? Right. Well, shit, this well, one of them. ate noodles and then uh, to buy studio time and shit like that. Hey, <laughs> you it, know it, what I'm saying? It is what it is, you know. You, you know, it's back to you got to do a lot of shit you don't want to do to do what you want to do. Just a, lot of art, art, a lot of artists have a struggle that people don't know about until it's... No, it's real. Yeah. It, it's hard to be an entrepreneur. It's hard to be uh, uh, create your own destiny, you know, because once again, you don't have a 401k plan. You don't have, you know. No fallbacks. You know, some people can't get sick. They ain't got no insurance. Can't afford to get That's sick. That's the insurance. Why? You can't get sick. Can't you get can't sick get insurance, nigga. I'm not sick. I'm not. I, I can't. Not. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with me. It will never it's be insurance. I got nothing wrong with me. <laughs> I got nothing wrong with me. But you, man, is it comment time? My yeah, brother? man. We, hey, first and foremost, man, we appreciate you. Thank OG, you, man. Oh, hey, man. man. Hell I, yeah, man. Hey, man. I appreciate y'all. Yeah. Rubicon Entertainment. I appreciate y'all. Let me let me come and talk about this shit before somebody else got to tell it. There you go. You know, that's just some of the shit, because you know what I mean? Bring me back part two. I got nah. Yeah, 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 nah, 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 nah. Come on, dog. I know they ain't believe you at work though. They like, nigga, you went with two pot last night. Oh no, no, I used to go I used to go to the game. You know, that's when the Falcons was great. You know oh, what I'm saying? God. So, you know, I had to tell him nigga, yeah, yes. I had to tell him I was sitting on the fifty, you know, Ooh. I was sitting on the fifty, you know, that cause Big Bob, you know, one of the greatest God offensive field, tackles man. in the game and, right. and Chuck you know, which I gave Chuck Smith the name Nine O the Rhino. You know, that's just back, back some more history. Oh, oh yeah, this is a little bit. OG oh, talk, man. Yeah, Come Nine O the man. Rhino, but you know that back when we was winning and shit. <laughs> you know, but yeah, that was winning man. some games. It's stressful on Sundays, yeah, boy. Yeah, got a wide receiver running back, but we gonna talk about. <laughs> boy, <laughs> we gonna. <laughs> but I'm a Cleveland Brown fan now. Nah, we ain't winning either, but it's okay. It's tough. a tough Sunday. Yes, sir, nobody in here got a good team, so we're going to move on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Eagles is trash. Yeah, so, Eagles well, are tough. Trash. Loss. Every yeah. week, man. Eagles no, Eagles are garbage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Every week, every week, we read some of the funny comments. I'm trying to talk through the shit. Every week, we read some of the funny comments that our, uh, our culture. Uh, Culture Ricans put in our YouTube video, so shout out to y'all for being hilarious. For sure. Went back. This one went back to uh, to the Rob Hayes episode. Oh, sure. It's a question for you, and then then the other one. <laughs> <laughs> one question <laughs> from E H H is uh, where 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 Remo get a do rag that big? <laughs> <laughs> That's back. You was you was with your Uncle I Clifford mean, stage. Was it purple? Oh, oh yeah, the purple, <laughs> purple, purple, purple do rag era. Purple Remo? Let him know. Oh man, any uh. I was about to say something very disrespectful. Any any Asian store, I think I still said it. Any, beauty, supply. Um, beauty supply store. That's what I was yeah, thinking. Yeah. Like. It's, it's a Bow Wow rag, man. It's a Bow Wow rag. No. Yeah, it's a, it, it says Bow Wow on it. But we need some black owned everything. So if Bow you got, got a black a owned do rag crazy. company, exactly. man, send let us in. know. Send us in, man. For real. All right, man. comment of the week from Noms. This was the Rob Hayes episode. Okay. It said Rob Hayes looked like Webby with an extra chromosome. <laughs> <laughs> That was Webby funny. with an extra chromosome is a very it's very funny, specific it's very, specific. It's very good. Shit, What's that a big headed Webby or something? That's a smarter Webby, right? Would it be smarter or would it be like <laughs> Cause you take it away, right? Don't you say that? I don't know. <laughs> I'm, 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 that's not <laughs> correct. Right? Your body your uh, 
your gene pool wouldn't be balanced. Oh yeah, well, extra. yeah, yeah. You, yeah if you had a missing, it. or you got an extra, extra. Yeah, yeah. You might have. A yeah, dick. that's you downs, might, right? Yeah. No, no, don't do it. You might don't have. A, you it. might have a dick in your pussy. <laughs> <laughs> with some extras. <laughs> they come with the they extras. Have some extra fries. <laughs> Fried onion ring with that motor nigga. I don't want fried onion ring. <laughs> Too much salt. I like it. <laughs> oh, thank you again. Oh, man. Shit. For real. Yeah, thank sir, you, brother. Clay. Well, for everything. Y'all. Not even just coming here, but. For hey, y'all real, check for us real. out on we all the. shit all... about you putting this on, but straight up. Thank yes. you. Yes. Y'all check us out on all the platforms, too, because uh, all Def Drop, all Def Cannabis Drop, the high oh, professionals. Good. Yeah, man. Real Shout out to JG. Good ass story. Tyler had a good story. Yeah. Everybody had good stories. And, Come all just dropped. We all just dropped on Keep Your Distance, man. So yes. man, talk appreciate to you. everybody up, for running those numbers up, man. Come on, man. You know what, what else, saying? Ronnie? And Kev owe us some more money because I should air it. So, uh, <laughs> it. oh yeah, my comedy album just dropped, man. Yeah. Heavyaf.com. Yes, yes. Thank yeah. y'all. Heavy yeah. AF in this bitch. Heavy AF. Yeah, my, yeah that, it's yeah. doing pretty yeah, good. Yeah, y'all see the velour suit. They trying to handle this. What's right. going on? Yeah, Come on, right. man. I had to dress like when CeeLo get baptized. <laughs> Yeah, let me say that. Boy, let me tell you something. That's that bless, bless is what is it? Bless, bless day up. No, this is like, this is just no, I'm saying the hat because. Yeah, I, I had it. The ski mask is well, bless day Yeah, because sure. I had one. Uh-oh. Yeah. Somebody stole it. He, no. Tell him the story. Ronnie gave it to me. I gave it to him. And he did. seen somebody more famous, he felt, and he uh, took it took it from me. Clay. Is, this, is, it, is this German not the story? You, and, you, and you yelled at me and ran in the rave. He me. took it from me and, he took and gave it to him. No, I ain't Clay never took nothing from you. Oh, Clay said, man. nigga, do your thing. Like, like, like nigga, hustle. Do the, work the room like this. No, like you I feel said. like you did. No, no, I did. I yeah, did. I feel like no, I just told him, you know what I'm saying, this man is a mover. Yeah. Boom. You want him to have the blessing, gotcha. but bring home. me another one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never got it <laughs> <laughs> because then he told the story without including me, mm. just like you do. But oh. he told the story. Yeah, my, I did. I yeah, did. Yeah, John Manop, man, me, me, me and Manop. I gave John Manop the oh, hat. Nigga, was, you know, Clay said, "This is Ronnie Jordan. This nigga. This shit is the hottest shit out right now. Fuck with him." But he went to his. You know when he be on the porch. Shit. <laughs> and we talk, he ain't bring you up. Hey, Clay be looking at everything. I did. You know, we t- I talked to you, though. I no, I got on talk. live that he day. He didn't tell the people, though. He didn't he tell the you. people. He told it's me. nigga I know. He told me. <laughs> Offline, he I told me. I did. Man, you know you plugs I met, nigga. You been in the bunch of plugs I met. <laughs> nah, you some shit. <laughs> like, you like your mans right here. Yo. Yeah, when well, me and T.I. was with Dave Chappelle. Your got merch for you. How about that? He said me and T.I. No, I got the GOAT merch. Cause it be everywhere. Yeah, Goldie. Goldie don't play. It be everywhere. It be a, I, I, Goldie, I seen it everywhere. Nah, Here. <laughs> That's Here. a fact. Yeah. We gonna wear our shit now. <laughs> yeah. We gonna wear our shit. Uh, everywhere. Yeah, we you know that was Goldie told me. He said, you know, you probably seen this everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you probably you gotta it. talk your shit. Hey, talk your shit. Yeah. Too. Look around, niggas everywhere. I told him Nard had that shit on. <laughs> <laughs> Nard has the whole. If he got it on that shit everywhere. Nard got it on that everywhere with that bump. Hey, can too. we give a big? <laughs> Shout out to Jay Ski too. That's my nigga. That oh, boy. oh, oh well, God, well, y'all, it. Jay this Ski ain't gonna hilarious. air because Jay Ski on his show comes on tomorrow. Oh uh, shit! Yes. Uh, fix my life. Fix no, my, it ain't no, fix no, my no. life. What is it called? It's love. Uh, uh, damn. It's what's the on damn TV show one, called? Man. It's on TV One. Yeah, I hate. I don't remember. It's like it love right and marriage now. or something? No, it's called. Hold on. Because, it's an acts of love. You know, I just got him on this shit. No, call your shit. What is it called? Hold on, I'm finna find it, bro. Yeah, y'all treat y'all team. It come good on as hell, at bro. ten o'clock. I just know that. <laughs> come on, he booked o- it. He the right, he the one. He got, got a producer that. credit and a writer credit. Yeah, I, do. I got credit on. Oh my boy, hey, listen. Come on, man. BT Awards. Job, we didn't even talk about the writing room. Did you talk about the writing room of the BT Awards? Oh yeah, congratulations oh, on Soul that. Oh, Soul Train, Soul Train, Soul Train, man. Thank you, man. Tisha Campbell, Tyler in the crowd, Tyler in the crowd, right? Yeah, so I actually wrote myself. was in Soul Sonic. Wrote myself into a scene, but they cut it, so that's why I was in the crowd because I wasn't sitting. No, you was in Soul Sonic, nigga, in the back. Man, hey, them dudes cool as hell. What about the other two niggas? I think they want to be known as two. Like, nigga, say our name, though. Who? In the Silk Sonic? There's two niggas besides Anderson Pack and Bruno Mars. They're the musicians, right? Dance their ass off. Yeah. Uh-huh. I mean, everybody out there was talented, man. Tachina and Tisha, so, like, I didn't know that Broadway trained talented, like, yeah. singing. Oh, yeah. They're amazing, though. It was, like, was uh, different. What's the play they was in? Little Shop Hard. Little Shop Hard. Oh, it was oh, yeah, that movie yeah, when yeah. they was kids and the play. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, man, it was, it was a dope experience and being at the Apollo with the Sandman there. 
you know what I mean? A, a majority of my jokes got off. So Yeah, we saw you. Appreciate yes, you. Sir. Oh, January 14th, I'm at the Apollo's in New York. Yes, yeah, sir. Talk yeah. your shit. Apollo's New York, Ronnie Run Jordan. Check. Yeah, for sure. Shout out to uh, Bob sure. Summer, man. Oh, they bring it back to comedy. Uh, well, the comedy at the plane th- ticket. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is it that time? Secret it's that time. Shit. Get me out of here if I get in trouble. This man. nigga stuff. <laughs> y'all, at, y'all get me every to the point. Bruh. Trouble time. I tell y'all niggas at ten eleven. After what I said at ten eleven, yeah, we're going for us cut off. We gonna lose. That's my shit. How it gets mean at ten? Yeah, we forgot the show is life therapy. Life, life therapy. Y'all check out Jay Ski on life therapy, man. Go yeah, look TV on your DVRs. Go Tuesdays. record it. Life therapy. Because you know life black shows, you got to watch it with three my days. Boy, I know my boy going to show out on there. And what's Funny her name? What's the lady name? She was on House Party. She was that, on House Party. AJ Johnson? AJ, AJ Johnson. Johnson. Okay. She, yeah. Yeah. AJ, yeah, that's her show. She, yeah. Yes. AJ Johnson. Yeah, yeah. It'll look good. That time. Let's get it, come on. Yeah, man. So we like to end the shows with a segment we call Secret Genius Life Coach. We get the people some words of wisdom. Get through the week, get to the next episode. I am Kamal Secret Genius. The words of the week are this. Very simple. Cut that shit out, man. I don't know what it is you need to cut out. But you do. <laughs> So stop doing that bullshit. Man. It's, it's, you've been doing it long enough. Do us all a favor. Yourself a favor, most importantly. And just cut that shit out, man. That's all I got. Man, for real. I got that and y'all niggas ain't finna sit up here and act like y'all don't see Kamal Beard coming in strong. Come on, man. Nah, it ain't, it ain't strong. strong. Nah, it's coming no, bro. Nah, listen. G, listen. You had goatee for years. Came a long way, yeah. my boy. <laughs> hey, I, I, got that, you. I got that cut that shit out text from uh, Carbs and Sugar. <laughs> Cut me out. Yeah, they be like, leave, me alone. leave us alone today. <laughs> leave us shit <laughs> out. Fuck with the water today, big boy. We gonna get you back in the gym though. Yeah, I'm gonna wear this. Next move for sure. I'm gonna wear, wear this. this. That's the next move, man. So we get you on the road back in the gym, baby. You know what time it, it is? Indeed, I got time for the daytime. I'm, I'm, I'm carpool man, running around oh, taking man, kids. They have shoes on these niggas. Yeah, that shit yeah. crazy. Yeah, bro. shout out to Top Lord, man, on. the artist who hooked me up. Appreciate yeah, it, man. man. Fuck yeah. You know what it is, man. More Than Culture is the brand. This is the More Than Culture show. Come on, Secret Genius, Remo Rod, Tyler Chronicles, mm-hmm. Ronnie Jordan, special guest, the OG, <laughs> Clay hey, Evans. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for having me. Yeah. Yeah. Patreon content. Which one of these niggas you don't fuck with, Clay? <laughs> yeah. Y'all. Talk that shit now. <laughs> <laughs>